therapy. Let me vent. Yeah, I got some problems with pain, I don't know how to take it. Niggas scream they the real, it turned out to be the fakest. My heart is even my mind, I'm caught up in the matrix. Great things come with time, but I ain't got no patience. Problems been on my mind, can't run, I gotta face it. Family don't spend no time, can't tell it we related. Watch my dog see these hands, he heard this even hatred. Showed that I was the one, they tried to treat me basic. This shit ain't come overnight, was grinding since the basement. Gotta shake, gotta move, no, I can't be complacent. Niggas ain't this the rap, I had to come and take it. Lost my dogs on the way, somehow I'm feeling vacant. Do I be feeling too well, this love that I don't say shit. Gotta be careful with love, that shit ain't nothing to play with. Go to was my big brother just tried to come up on me i've been feeling like jesus the way these niggas cross me leveled up seen they faces i guess they feeling salty niggas leeching like fleas i had to shake them on me broke bread with you what made you think they betray me would have came my last you needed but niggas too shady wonder why my attitude man fuck you just pay me i was rolling left the court and went straight to the pavement fast forward 12 book me i'm shackled in cages on parole detainer on me i'm fighting these cases Heard my mom apologize, but the pain, I can't take it. Reverse the frowns and the smiles, I try to replace it. Sacrifice, I put the work and put smiles on your face. Before the times, we felt the pain, they tried to break us. My ex, bitch, she in our feelings, cause she caught the vapors. Niggas quick to take advantage, running out of favors. Let me when they left me damaged, focused on my paper. Never tried to shit on niggas, I tried to motivate you. Always helped, I never hated, that ain't in my nature. I'ma keep that shit 100, gotta keep a play. Let's pee. It's prime, nigga. Yeah.
Two sign up, two sign down, nigga. Special rest in peace to the wisest man I ever knew, my good brother Quan Lewis. I know you watching over me, King. You'll never be forgotten and you'll always be missed. Peace in paradise, Quan Lewis. What's up with your family? It's your boy, the one and only, Brenda's baby. <laughs> Remy L. My Ot, you are now tuned in to my Ot TV. Now, as you come into the building, you already know the routine. Go ahead and hit that like button, but most importantly, share this video. You definitely want to share this video and get this message out because it's a lot of capping and lying going on. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of story changing, capping, and lying going on. So, sorry, y'all, my nose is a little stuffed. So, most importantly, share this video because it's definitely all about the message. If you're new to the channel, I seen saw a couple newcomers in the... uh in the uh the chat shamar peace and welcome if you're new to the channel it's your first time rocking with your boy do me a favor go on and hit that like button because you know you're coming back but do yourself a favor hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i drop a live premiere upload joint live whenever i do something on youtube it'll let you know and make sure it's on all because it won't work so who we got in the building today? Uh, we got a, got a couple people up in here already. Transcripts. Peace and welcome. Shamar. Peace and welcome to the channel. Trip C's. All three of y'all up in the building. Star Goddess, you made it at the beginning this time. <laughs> you finally made it to the end in the beginning of the live. Peace and welcome. Uh, who else we got? Like I said, we got trip all tree, y'all. Investigative media, peace and welcome. Ain't seen you around in a minute. RJ perspectives. Speaking of speaking of devil, that's what video we're gonna go over again today. Uh, we're gonna finish that live that you recorded, RJ. So if uh you want to come up, I'll drop the link in a little bit for you to come up. Um, who else we got? It, Cheer for RJ. Neek will be. Oh my God. Nick. She's in my life. Dude, I'm so famous now. Neek will be in the building. What's up, sis? Uh, and Don. Peace and welcome, brother. Peace and welcome. I thought you was going camping. You said that was next week. I thought you was going camping. You said that's you. Which one is you? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. I know. Okay, I, I keep forgetting that. Keep forgetting that. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I, I called on to it. Tripsies. Oh, Thursday, you going? That's what's up. That's what's up. I hope you have fun. So that so did it. So today we're going to go over Young Pharaoh, aka Sugarfoot, aka Genie Little Spoon. And why didn't y'all tell me that that uh that that parody that I did of, of Young Pharaoh, the grimy, grimy. It wasn't on my main channel. It was only on the Genie Little Spoon channel. I did not know that. I'm sitting here making jokes about it, wondering why nobody know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> and I found out this morning that it wasn't even on my page. I woke up in the middle of the night and some Genie Little Spoon videos popped up from the channel. And I'm like, hold on. And I looked at my list. I was like, yo, I don't remember, you know, putting that on that other channel. And I realized it wasn't even on that other goddamn channel. That's why. I, but that video, oh, I did that. Like a month or so ago, and it's on the other channel, but I ain't know I didn't upload it to my main channel. So today we got uh Young Pharaoh going live. Shout out to RJ's perspective for uh, recording this live. 
he went on live on uh IG. It was IG, right? Instagram, right? He was on live talking to uh some white lady. I'm not sure if she was Spanish or white. Could have been either or. Some Asian guy. I don't know what region of Asian Asia that he's from, so I'm just gonna say Asian. Asian guy and some uh real, real weird looking black dude. He looked like a sloth had a baby with the dude from Goonies. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Nigga look real weird. When he blinked, when I blink, I don't know if it's a matter. I don't want to bust on him. I don't want you know roast the nigga too hard. Yeah, it was IG. Okay. I don't want to roast the dude too hard because he might it might be a medical condition. You know how shit shit is nowadays. But it looked really weird to me. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh so he goes on there and he's retelling his story about being drugged. About being drugged and story changes. It morphs into something totally different. And then we're going to compare that story to a couple other times he told it. And we're going to look at all the differences in the story because the story changed so fucking much. It's like his uh it's like his alien abduction story. In one story, he says that it was a plastic room. It was a plastic-like room. And then the next, uh, the next video, he said it was metal. Hey, little boy. What's up, I got a secret. Uh, I just went and looked at Sparrow Page, and uh, why does he have a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger song on there? What? What, what, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. On where? On his IG. Oh Lord. It's like the second one when you first go well, on. Yeah. Well, you can't huh? forget though. You, you, you can't forget. He is the White Ranger. Mm. He is the, the White Ranger in the Power Project Power Rangers. <laughs> Project Rangers. You got Hassan as the Pink Ranger. Right there, Mars, right the Black there. Ranger. <laughs> T bag. Hold on, let me take that down. Polite and him. I don't think I, I should think I don't think so. I think that's the uh hold on. You no, know I'm blind in the back. Let me make that's I, what it is. I know I see it. Is that like the fan? Because it look kind of look like one of them fan made drawings, but no. What is six what power? Is six power? Yeah, it started off with five, and then they added Tommy. That mm. transfer. Give me some of that room green. Mm -hmm. You let me walk around looking like Steve Wonder. No, no, no. But uh, yeah, so. That's what we're going to get into today. We're going to uh, compare these stories. And uh, I'm going to drop the link if anybody else wants to come up and speak on it while we play these stories. No matter of fact, should I play it? And then have people <coughs> or have the people up as it plays so we can all give a reaction to it. Just whatever you want to do. That's something nobody else does, though. True. Like when they're doing a reaction video, they have the audience come up, some audience members come up and react mm -hmm. to it. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Uh, but it's worth a shot. We're going to do another time. <laughs> now, matter of fact, I did say RJ can come up. Ain't nobody in here that really won't come up anyway. Uh, so I'm going to drop the link real quick. Drop the linky poo. And I'm going to have anybody want to come up. Marquis, what's up? Peace and welcome. Hey, Marquis. Give their uh, reaction to these videos we're about to play. Especially you, RJ, because you're the one who uh, recorded the video. Nico, you're more than welcome too. Oh, 
why they uh I'm gonna load this up. Damn. Okay, bam. Boom. What you call it? <laughs> I'm being a young girl for Halloween, y'all. Oh, I'm being young Pharaoh for uh, Halloween, y'all. Hey, bro, bro. Hey, big sis. What's up? So, if I'm on a panel, I feel special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was about to cover uh, 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 Spoon. What's his name? Silver Spoon. What's his name? Jenna Lee. Jenna Lee. Jenna Lee. I do want to cover before we start. I do want to cover on my page because I don't think anybody really covered this. Remember that? Did you see that guy who was punching on that black girl in the store? No. Uh, oh. Right. Where was oh my gosh. That? Um, it was just I forgot what was that. It was just recently, like, and it's like, like everybody's talking like. Like on Instagram, people were talking about it, but not on like too much on YouTube. But like he literally started with her, saying how he um how us people need to go back to where we came from and that. And she said, "Can you please move out of my way so I can pay for my food, uh, or well, my my purchase?" It was at a convenience store, and he literally just started like punching her, like as if she was a dude. It was a black girl, and it was a white guy. But then in the aisle, there's a whole other dude in the aisle, not even trying to like come to her rescue. It was a man there. Was it a man a was there in an aisle too. Was it a black the, man? A black man, yeah. The black man was there watching. He didn't watching it. What the fuck is going on? I've seen videos like this before, where women, are, uh, black women, are being hit by white men. No, but if you They're see how this guy was was watching this shit, wailing, if you see how this guy was wailing on his woman. I'm surprised he ain't knock her out. He was punching her like they was in a boxing ring. Oh my god, Jenny, what's up? That that is fucking ridiculous. I'm tired of seeing. I'm like even if I don't know the woman, I cannot know her from a can of paint. If I see some man whooping her ass, first if it's he a black dude, they a couple. <laughs> I'm assuming they're a couple, but I'm still going to be like, whoa, 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 you all right? But if it's a white dude, and not, not saying I'm being racist or anything, because they could still be a couple. But nine times out of ten, a white dude whooping a black woman ass ain't because they're a couple. That's no, he I'm came, they didn't know each other from a can of paint. Like he came in there and then just started like talking racist stuff to her. And she said, Leave me alone. I just want to pay for my purchases. And like he put his stuff in front of her stuff on purpose and he she moved his stuff out of the way. And then he just started wailing on her. Damn. Then he said he was hitting her hard as fuck. Yeah, that's, it was crazy. It was crazy how he was me. touching her. That's beyond me. RJ, what's up? Hey, guys. How you doing today? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Doing all right. Good. How's the weather over there in the UK? It's not great, you know. There's lots of clouds. It's not warm. It's kind of cold. It was hailing. The other day around here. Really? Literally. I was on my way back from work and it started hailing. Wow. It's crazy. That's like the third time that's happened in my life where it hailed during weather. It was not supposed to be any type of cold weather. Wow. It's not it wasn't cold out either. It was it was a, like a humid rain. Then all of a sudden it started hailing. It was that's so hot. Though. The hail was starting to melt immediately when it hit the ground. That's what didn't make sense to me. Um, what? Okay, I'm going to ignore that. All right, let's get into this video. And I, I called Chris. I called. Wait. Before we start this, am I am I am I being mean or does this dude look like the dude from Goonies and the sloth had a baby? This dude right here at the bottom. It looked like he had some kind of surgery on his head. He looks like the dude. He looks like that guy. Remember when we used to cover the Wabians and like how he had the cone head thing? 
Yeah. He look yeah. like they drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Xfinity, peace and welcome. Infinity Shadow. Shadow. All right, let's get into this video. Called Crystal, and I said, hey, man, like, uh, the least we could do is help raise awareness that YP is back at mm. General Oxen. So if you guys can support the man who has done a lot for this movement, because a tremendous, amount. Yeah. tremendous amount, because I just want to say this, too, that, you know, it's amazing how you could do 99 plus things right, especially during our time of need in 2020, when all this shit was going on. Every Wait. See, this is what fucked me up right here. What the fuck is this dude talking about? He must not, like I said before, he must not have been following Pharaoh this past year or two. Because he just said you, you did 99 things right to help people. That didn't oh, yeah. fuck anybody up. Who did he help? That's what I'd like to know. I wish they would list exactly what he's done. And he, yo, he did. He, uh, he was like, I remember when I had no followers, and Pharaoh came over here, and I had got a bunch of followers. That's <laughs> that's about as much. Help. That's about as much. Help. That's what I'm saying. What? Who has he helped? When? Where? Nothing. He's not done anything. Not for anybody apart from himself. Exactly. Everyone was afraid. Yeah. You came on on YouTube, was talking mad shit, calling out the deep states, and you provided us with a tremendous sense of security. I remember that. And then whatever happened last year, people seem to want to hold on to that one thing that they disagree with, and I don't think that's fair. So I want to- I got this. It wasn't even- That right there made me feel like he- I just caught that. That right- Listen to what he just said. Listen to what he just said. That. And then whatever happened last year, people seem to want to hold on to that one thing that they disagree with. And I don't think that that right there is a clear sign that that man does know what the fuck Pharaoh has done. And he's trying to flip it. He's trying to do damage control for Pharaoh. He said, and whatever happened last year, people want to hold on to it. So he's aware that Pharaoh did some shit. And he's trying to breeze right over it. Like it never happened. Whatever happened last year. And first, first he meant when he mentioned it, he said it was one one thing. One thing. What thing is he talking about? I don't know. Over it. It's, it's, it's more than one thing. It's more than one thing that he's done. But I think he's and then he starts talking about. The drug situation. So I think they're trying to capitalize on him getting drugged. Like I said, it, it's like a Hollywood move. They stick firm to a lie and try to appeal to a new crowd. Well, eventually people stop caring. And once people stop caring, the evidence gets buried. Meanwhile, that person is sticking firm to their lie. And that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to solidify he got drugged. That's fair. So I want to. I got on. this. It wasn't even nothing major, though. I got drugged. Over that a piece of welcome. I was. Listen to me. I'm. I'm minding my business. I'm minding my business. In my right. House, minding my business. I work. I'm building an army over here. Okay. I'm building a nation over here. Uh, I'm building. You know what I mean, I'm doing a lot of things over here. I have a state of the art library. I get up every. I'm turning my. I'm. I'm. I'm in the in the process of turning. I was for a second real. <laughs> I, I was really I've seen that lady somewhere before. She looks familiar to me too. I'm trying to figure it out. That's why I said I don't but know. She, she really looks like right. she don't believe shit he's saying. Not a and as this word. goes on, she looks like she might be ready to call the folk. <laughs> <laughs> they need to bring them white vans back with the with the uh -huh. dudes in the white outfits with the I love me coats and the butterfly nets. Yes, come in we with, need those uh, once again. Make it in the Government, make it so. They come in, they come bust in your crib with the straight with the straight jacket and the stretcher and the needle. 
she this. calls herself um a truth speaker and she does like little lives on instagram quite often exactly uh apparently according to over it is she's done other streams with him yeah yeah i'm pretty sure they did because the dude mentioned Farrell coming over and helping him get his his following up uh, shit version of the drug story exactly shit they be doing in the middle of the night or Facts. whenever that use the term doctor because I don't want to be in court. Listen, what he just said. I have a state of the art library. I get up every. I'm turning my. I'm, 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 I'm turning myself into. Let's not use the term doctor because I don't want to be in court arguing over there. So I'm gonna just say. So he said he got a state of the art. He got a state of the art library, and he's about to become a. He doesn't even want to use the word doctor. I think he's about to say he was the uh, the greatest holistic person in the world or some shit like that. He got the cure for everything, AIDS and one of the greatest holistic healers ever. I got the yeah, I'm not cure tripping. for everything over here. I'm not tripping. Fuck just, just being court arguing over that shit. So I'm gonna just say one of the greatest holistic healers ever. I got the fucking cure for everything over here. Fuck just STDs, everything. And I'm like, hold on. Like, oh, this shit. So I said that to say, who has he healed? I don't. <laughs> That's why I hit the. <laughs> you, know, you think you, you know what his him his reason for him saying that he he's a doctor because he gave two home births. Oh no, Jesus! He he, That's he why I say he can do STDs. He, mm -hmm. he, he's trying to take over Dr. Sabi Lane. No. He does, that's what Farrell does, though. He takes a little bit of everybody's shit. That's so dramatic, though. Holistic healer. Uh, he said he's the polymathic, moronic entity <laughs> or, or some shit like that. The Anunnaki Holy Ghost. <laughs> He, yeah, he, he, descended, he was the he was a descendant of the Anunnaki. Then he became the Anunnaki Holy Ghost, and now he's the polymathic, Quranic entity known as Pharaoh Aten. And he last time he was here, he it was four thousand years ago. <laughs> you don't get no better than this, man. This nigga needs to write movies. He's delusional. Movie. Yeah, he he needs to write some movies. General of what, though? In order to be a general, you have to have an army. He said, just set in order city. to have an army, you have to have some type of backing power. Hey, Ty. Yo, I finally went over that uh, that video. Speaking of that, I finally went over that video of him and Seti, uh, him talking shit about Seti. I think Golden Beauty didn't say shit to him. I think he just said that to get Seti's attention. Because what, what, what need did you have to Say some shit like that. If it's an argument between you and Golden Beauty, and she said you stole Sweet Seti swag, what prompted you to jump on the internet and be, and tell everybody that? I can't think it's of no reason. Bipolar schizophrenic. I don't think it, that too. I think it's a little bit of that and a little bit of he's him trying to get Seti's attention. Yeah, I think he thinks the internet is his friends, like they'll back him, his followers. Yeah, he really that that's a good way to put it. He really think that you know he's a celebrity. You you heard him tell tell the dad I got too much fame and notoriety to be traveling back and forth to go see <laughs> my He's not aim he's not famous, he's infamous in some circles. And small circles and small are bad. The majority of the black community don't know who these fools are. He said his followers are the army. <laughs> Sorry, <buddy. laughs> yeah, he said he was starting to fit. Yep, I forgot about that. Remember, he was talking about Otten films, and that was when he claimed that he killed the bull Neef. 
Mm-hmm. He was like, he's gonna put his life story, he's gonna do a documentary on his life story, he's gonna get the people that he shot and shit like that. Something that a uh, well known rapper from Philly who's now in jail uh, said that he was gonna do. AR Ab said that shit way before he did, like a couple years before he did. It. And he actually went around and got interviews of niggas and, that he shot. <laughs> he, he shot these niggas and got an interview with these motherfuckers about him shooting them. That's where he got that fucking idea from. But that was the only person I've ever seen do that. Don, you're killing me. And then he claimed he killed the bull named Neef. And then Neef turned into, uh, what's the guy name he said he killed on Night and Day Network? He also claimed that Waka Flocka told him he saw trans-dimensional beings. Yeah, he so. said, well, oh, wait, we, we got it. We got that. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. You know, he said a lot of shit. How much of it he believes is up to question. Because if he actually believed the shit he's spouting, bipolar gets friend. He has to. He has to believe it. Look at this. Nobody. It, if 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 he doesn't believe it, then Farrell deserves an Oscar. He deserves to be in a movie. That is the next Denzel Washington right there. He need an Oscar immediately. Because he looks like he convinced himself that. He believes the shit that he's saying. And then when you got a bunch of yes men ass kissers like School Beasel and Qua, I think they're the same person. I'm sure. I never seen Qua, but I keep hearing about him. If he is a different person, then Qua's smart enough to stay the fuck off camera. But uh I he when you got a bunch of yes men like that around him kissing his ass all day and Basically telling him what he's telling, I'm the god, and you know, I'm a polymathic entity. I was here four thousand years ago, and them niggas going, yeah, yeah, yeah. He start eventually that shit gonna get to him. It must have gotten to him. He start believing the shit itself. Yeah, I'm I'm minding my business, but I do meet from time to time. I have a little fun from time to time. Just chilling, peace and welcome. And somebody gave me something that didn't tell me that it had mushrooms. And I had an experience. I'm not see now. He's saying that I, I I just now caught that. He said somebody gave me something and didn't tell me he had mushrooms in it. In the night and day John, I think he said she said it was mushrooms in the tea. Do you want mushroom tea? And he tried to play it off like he didn't know what type of mushrooms it was. Now is she gave me the tea without me knowing. And we, if you go on my, my 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 page, I got the I got the tweet of him saying Josh Netter never gave me mushroom tea. So that nigga story changed a bunch of times. I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm gonna tell Wait you a my minute. experience. Now, mm-hmm. listen, a lot of people might say that it's true or it's not true, but I feel like it happened to me. It happened to me. A motherfucker not gonna tell me my experience. Schizophrenia don't exist. I'm not going for that. So I said to say this. Yeah, he did. Somebody gave me mushroom tea. Now, this was my experience. Yeah, we know he he did that, Ty. This person started fucking shape-shifting or some shit. Do you hear me? They started turning into another being. I don't know what the fuck it was. You could say it was an alien. You could say it was a demonic being. But I feel like... This part of the story has changed. A million times. First, it was she. It was it was just her shape shifting. Then it evolved into something taking over her and started shape shifting. Then it evolved to it was a reptilian taking over her body, and she passed out and went through the ceiling. If you listen to the stories from the beginning, from him first telling this story, it starts to evolve. And as you as it evolves, he starts adding bit, little bits and different bits and pieces of some bullshit he made up into the story. I got exercised the spirit out of my fucking house. That's a fact. I will argue with anybody about that. He ex- now, did this nigga just say he exercised the spirit out of his house? Spirit out of my fucking house. That's a fact. I will argue. 
being. I don't know what the fuck it was, bro. You could say it was an alien. You could say it was a demonic being. But I feel like I exercised the spirit out of my fucking house. That's a fact. I will argue. Let's exercise the demon. This house is clear. <laughs> Nobody remember that old uh, age material? Anybody about that. Now, boom. She started shifting. Now, like I said, I don't, y'all probably seen them videos I threw up on YouTube. Y'all probably seen because I had them for myself. We probably seen them. The most intellectual man in the world, in the country, he got a fucked up vocabulary. Boom. I seen them. She started shifting. Like I said, I don't, y'all probably seen them videos I threw up on YouTube. Y'all probably seen because y'all probably seen them. I had to, for myself, document what the fuck was happening because in my mind, to me, I knew that I was drugged. Exactly. So I'm like, the I story. know in my mind, I'm not all the way got. Yeah, over his head, his story changed depending on, depending on who he's mad at at the time. <laughs> Whoever he's currently mad at, that's how the story will change. Facts. Damn right. <laughs> fuck what you're talking about. I'm not all the way right, pal. I know myself. Right. So I'm like, let me start, <laughs> let me start documenting this shit because I'm about to shoot one of y'all motherfuckers in a minute. And um, when I shoot your ass, I need to be able to explain this shit. <laughs> I don't, I need to be able to explain this shit. So I'm not understanding why. So now he's trying to play off the gun shit. Why can't he just say I was hallucinating and I almost shot this bitch in the face? I almost shot this chick in her face. And he should be apologetic about it. Like, why is yeah. he speaking about it? Like, it's something yeah. good. Young exorcist. Exactly. Like, if he would have just came, like I say all the fucking time, if he would have just in the beginning been like, look, I, I'm human just like y'all. I, I tried some drugs. Shit got me fucked up. I did some shit under the influence. Motherfuckers would have understood that. Better than they understand this bullshit story. Yeah, and he should have came and apologized to Joss and apologized to everyone for his behavior. That's what he should have done. Exactly. But he just want to blame it on everybody else. You ever yeah. notice that every problem that he has, he blames it on somebody else? Don't nobody ever catch that? Like, some of his followers have to catch this. All right, come on, man. Every time you fuck up, it's, all, it's always somebody else's fault. You don't never do nothing wrong. It's always somebody's fault. Right. You just perfect. You don't do shit wrong. Stacey. Yeah, Stacey, you right. <laughs> she don't believe a word that nigga saying. You can see it in her face the whole entire time. Why I'm seeing shit now, I was a, whether I was hallucinating or not, I probably could have been this shit because I'm about to shoot one of y'all motherfuckers in the minute. And so um, when I shoot your ass, I need to be able to explain this shit. <laughs> I don't, I need to be able to explain this shit. So I'm not understanding why I'm seeing shit now. I was a, a whether I was hallucinating or not, I probably could Young finger shit. pointer. But I knew to myself that I wasn't right. I know myself. Mm -hmm. So to me, this bitch start turning into what I would call a reptilian. Now that's, that bitch start shaking into a reptilian. So that was my experience. Now, Boom. As y'all probably seen on that video, I asked her, was she was she the police, oh, the shit. military, or the reptilian, or a rep, or an alien? Because that's what the fuck I seen at the time. My bad, just now, hold on. Short, I go in my kitchen. I start trying to, um, like, you know when you drunk and you feel like, let me start, so let me start just eating food. Hold on. So that. Just chilling. I did not it, mean to do that. Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I got him on YouTube. There we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. Sorry, chilling. Yeah, my bad. I did not mean to do that. He hit All right, but let's go. I hit the block button by accident. But uh, remember to hit that like button as you come in, family. We almost got forty people in the building. With 24 right. likes. Come on. Come on. Y'all can do better than that. Like buttons. Give him his wrench back, Remy. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Ty, a lot of people on the live are calling him crazy and laughing. 
Yeah, my bad. Uh, just chilling. I accidentally hit the block button. I was trying to highlight it, and I hit the block button. Also, you know the little star that be on the side of it that you can highlight a comment now. <laughs> I would try to click that. Hey, Dave, why you do that? He was uh -huh. just chilling. <laughs> uh -huh. I was looking for it. Yeah, like, chilling. We can see you now. Yeah, we can see you now. Damn you, mushroom tea. Way, it it kind of soak up the alcohol. Y'all ever do that? Like bread, like like old yeah, bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like eating bread, right? When is so he ever talking, talking about going to eat some talking. bread? In any of this, any of the times he told this story. So I realized that I was hot, nigga. You did not realize you was fucked up until like two, three days later after you didn't seen all them goddamn videos of yourself <laughs> acting. <laughs> you didn't come down off that high for at least two, three days, bro. You did not know you were high. People were trying to tell you you was fucked up and you wouldn't listen. He tried to make it seem like he caught it right away. Oh, yeah, I realized something wasn't wrong with me, so I had to go eat something. Nah, motherfucker, you had to go jump on that phone and start calling everybody, Plates! Oh, yes. <laughs> While we are here and there are people in the room, y'all please subscribe to our song, Stress Neek Will Be. For her spoken yeah. word of the day. Oh, you put it up. Channel. I just dropped it in the All chat. Right. All right, I was gonna say put it in the chat. Well, let me highlight it. That's the link to her channel. Y'all go on over there, subscribe now, and quit being stubborn. Just get me Remy Addy. I didn't, yeah, I didn't fucked up. <laughs> Not I didn't fucked up. You need you trying, you want me to drop the Addy? Drop the Addy. So <laughs> it it kind of soak up the alcohol. Y'all ever do that? Like bread, like like old yeah, bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like eating bread, right? So that's what I'm telling myself. So I'm like, <laughs> let me go try to eat some shit to see if I'm if I'm high or something or if I'm drunk or something. My God, just started smoking weed. I never did drugs all my life. So um, wait, if you're high, eating doesn't bring it down. Everybody know get him some milk. It don't matter what drug it is, get him some milk. Shabo. Shabo, what's up? I ain't even see you there in the chat. Get him some milk. If I think I'm like somebody drug me or fuck me up, my first thing I'm gonna do is go find some goddamn milk. I'm like, what the fuck? So goddamn, after a while, after a minute, it's still not going away. I'm like, what's wrong with me? So I'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with me. So I go to turn around. Boom, I go in my, I'm, it's like I'm coming out of my kitchen to come to my living room. And she she, she coming towards me in the kitchen. Boom, now we meet, we, we both standing right there. And it's like, whatever the <laughs> fuck I'm seeing, right? Whatever the fuck I'm seeing, whether I'm hallucinating or not, I could have been looking to a fucking parallel dimension. Cause this time my first time I seen it being off drugs. I'm gonna tell y'all another story after this when I seen the devil. <laughs> off drugs. Somebody gave me I can't be the only one that noticed that this nigga is always putting himself in the center of a conspiracy. Always like he, he comes up with conspiracies and places himself dead center in the middle of that conspiracy. What why, and go? why did the three people on the panel why are they entertaining him as if what he's saying is normal? Like, it's not normal for someone to say, I've seen the devil. I don't know. I don't it's know. like, what? When Night and Day News Network was uh, interviewing him, the next interview I'm going to play, when they was interviewing him, you can tell that they had their screens off because they was in the back laughing at this motherfucker because the way they put the videos up and clipped them and put them up. They kept their screens off because they was laughing. I'm pretty sure these motherfuckers was in the back laughing their ass off. Like, look, do you hear this nigga? They kept their mics uh, muted and cameras off. So I know they was laughing at it. Them, I think is is damage control. They're helping him. They're helping them. They're helping them. Or either they're doing the same thing. 
they're making fun of them, they can just cheat their composure. So yeah, I think it's that. Composure. As you can tell, uh, you can tell the lady on the right don't believe a goddamn word she word he's saying. And just homeboy in the bottom, he just wants to laugh. Yeah, yeah, he 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 was ass kissing a little bit though, but he just do want to laugh. And the dude, the yeah. agent, like you can see, like further on in the interview, you'll start to see that he's like, "Hey man, wait a minute, <laughs> this shit not add up." You can see he starts to lean like, "Okay, just take a trip." But you can all I'm, I'll let you judge for yourself. The X Pills when I was young, and. I, I didn't know if it was my first and last taking them. Why the fuck? Somebody was always drugging him. Being off drugs. I'm going to tell y'all another story after this. When I seen the devil. Off drugs. Somebody mm -hmm. gave me X pills when I was young. And I I didn't know if it was my first and last taking them. Why the See, what doesn't make sense about this story. I mean, he doesn't clarify how it was ingested. Or how he it was given. to Somebody gives you pills. What the fuck you think they're gonna be? You 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 so called in the streets. You think a nigga gonna give you an aspirin because you got a headache? <laughs> you think in the streets niggas just got aspirins in their pocket? They giving out? No, nigga. So you knew you had to have known that the pill was some type of drug. Somebody had me a pill on the streets. What do you what are you gonna think it is? Some type of drug? I ain't gonna think it's a motherfucking Motrin. That doesn't make no sense. You could have put it in his drink, but he didn't say that. He said somebody gave it to him. If somebody gave you a pill with no numbers or letters on it, and it got a a, a sexy lady on it like this, <laughs> necessarily take it. But if you exactly. do get one in numbers and letters on it, you usually know what that it is. And it's usually some kind of narcotic. If you get somebody hand you a pill, but he said it was ecstasy, so it ain't gonna have numbers on it. If somebody hand you a pill with some naked lady on it like this, <laughs> obviously that shit didn't come from over over the counter or a doctor. <laughs> if that shit got Scooby Doo on the front of it or some shit like that, what? That don't make no sense. It's off subject. Remember when he was telling me content creators? Anthony, peace and welcome. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he tried to show his dick to uh, uh, King World because King World was about to out him as a snitch. He's about to start read off the names that he was the people that he snitched on. That's why his ass went to Texas. I'm trying to keep up with these damn. I ain't used to these this many people being all in the chat like that. That quick. The fuck you let me take X pills with you that young? I don't have a fucking clue. But I had an experience. Then always somebody else fault. Boom. Oh so we in the in the in the living room, and whatever it is, I can feel it trying to penetrate my head. That's what I got. It's like I can feel my. I can feel. My now the motherfucking thing was trying to penetrate his aura. He was trying to penetrate something else. <laughs> him tooting that ass up. So now the ghost was trying to uh make him toot that ass up because it was trying to penetrate his aura. It was trying to oh, it's trying to get into his 33rd vertebrate. He can feel it penetrating his aura. Like this story has evolved into a movie. <laughs> So we meet in a in a in the living room, and whatever it is, I can feel it trying to penetrate my aura. Like I swear to God, it's like I can feel my I can feel my aura on the outside, and whatever it is, it's trying to penetrate my aura. Real, <laughs> it's like it's trying to. It's like think of like think of like screwing a nail through a wall, like that kind of frequency. I can feel it trying to. I can feel it trying to penetrate. Thinking my aura. of it like screwing so the nail through the wall. Bodyguard at the time, okay. They asked me before, he asked me before, like, do you trust me with your life? Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't never had a motherfucker ask me. It's normal for a bodyguard to ask. Why, how is that not normal? 
for your bodyguard to ask you, do you trust me with your life? How is that abnormal? That's his job. So he's going to basically ask if I do a good fucking job. Do you trust me with your life? But that's not even the case. He's flipping everything that he was doing onto everybody else. Talking about some, you trust me with your life. He was going around asking everybody that. When he put the knife to the girl neck, every fucking video he was, yo, everybody safe here. Do you trust me with your life? Do you trust me with your life? Pointing people, do you trust me with your life? People trying to figure out what the fuck he was talking about. Question like that. <laughs> Never. And I didn't been to prison. Mm -hmm. I didn't been to prison. I didn't been through like I, I didn't been through a lot of shit in life. You feel me? I might not be the hardest motherfucker in the world, but I didn't been through some hard ass. I, I could walk through an environment that the average motherfucker can't walk. Facts. So I said to say this. I'm like, bitch, what? <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, bitch, what? Do I trust you with my motherfucking life? Yeah, but not that much. Like, that's a scary movie ass question. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a mm -hmm. horror movie ass question. Scary movie. Yeah, but they actually See? Notice that he said it's a scary movie. When he asked the girl, do you trust me with your life and put a knife to her neck? What did he yell? You can't fake fear. You can't fake fear. Implying that in the movies, people are really being threatened to be killed with real objects. And they can't fake fear in acting. And then he said, the kids is up there. Talking about kids being kidnapped and raped. He's trying to flip the whole thing on Josh Snedder. Yeah, he asked me that. So I asked her back. I'm like, man, if I trust you with my motherfucking life. Yeah, but not that much. Like, that's a scary movie ass question. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a mm -hmm. horror movie ass question. Scary movie. Yeah, but they asked me that. He asked me that. So I asked her back. I'm like, he finally he realized all the shit life. he did. And she's like, yeah, why? I'm like, blame it on everybody question. else. She's like, yeah, I'm like, because I'm about to, I'm like, I'm about to aim this gun at you, but I'm not gonna put my finger on the trigger. And I'm like, listen, you scaring the shit out of me right now. And it's a, everybody got shit they scared of, but bitch, I'm not. Wait. I never really been scared of no woman like that. Wait, so are we talking about your baby mama or, or some other? I just person somebody, I'm saying, this ain't my. That's my. It's not my baby mama. This is my. Dad. But I'm like, uh, just explaining what happened. What's been going on back there? So I'm like. You scaring the fuck out of me right now. You're scaring the fuck out of me. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, I'm like, do you trust me with your life? She's like, yeah. I'm like, do I have your permission to aim this gun at you? She gave me permission to aim that gun at her. No, she didn't. So I ate the gun at her, but I had my finger. That's, That's a, a lie. That's a whole lie. That's a whole. Nobody ever gave him permission to point the knife or the gun. That's one of the reasons why Ace came and took the fucking gun, and then went and protected your family. Okay. And then went to go protect your family like he was supposed to do, which you hired him to do. Off the trigger. It was my bodyguard gun. I had my mm -hmm. finger off the trigger. Why would she piss herself after giving you permission to point the gun? Why would she faint and piss herself? Piss herself and faint. She was scared. Out of her fucking mind. Plus high. The high probably intensified the fear. So. Why would she give you. That doesn't sound like somebody who gave you permission. And he's trying to blame. Her pass it out. Or this on a, on a reptilian taking over her body. No she passed and out. Because you almost shot her in her fucking face. And made her piss herself and pass out. Yeah. Right, Ty. He's literally incriminating himself. Facts. He keeps saying it's a federal offense that they drugged him because <laughs> he's a, a, a military general. The federal offense is the fact that he had the gun in his hand, pointing at someone, loaded. Yep. yep. That's why his bodyguard came and got the gun, and he claimed his bodyguard was abandoning him. No, he had to yeah. get him and the gun out of that house. He had to make sure he got that gun out of the house because you were tripping. You were in a state that was uncontrollable and belligerent 
and he recognized it. He even said that Daryl tried to offer him some of the shrooms. If I'm trying to protect their life. What the fuck do you want me high for, dummy? Mind, I remember when I, of course, I obviously I read books. So in my mind, I no, you when don't. I was in prison, and I and I, and I turned toward Buddha. I remember I told myself. Mm-hmm. What kind of helped me get over my fear of spiders? He might have used to read books because he knows a lot. He does know a lot and more than the average when it comes to certain things. He must have read some books, but he's not reading the motherfuckers no more. See, some people think they learn a little bit and know just a little bit more than the average person. That makes them knowledgeable and smart. You can't put a cap on knowledge. You never stop learning. You feel me? And I ain't gonna stop completely over them, but I'm not as fearful of them as I was. And what helped me get over my fear of them is because I remember when I was in prison and I was studying them books on what I remember telling myself, you're really just afraid of the unknown. And I'm not really afraid of spiders because if it's oneness, we really are just afraid of any. Uh, any- I'm gonna give you the beam. Ain't nothing you can do that can make me not scared of spiders. I have two fears being stabbed in the neck and spiders. I don't give a fuck who's watching me. Who's there? How I make myself look? I don't care how big the spider is. If the motherfucker touch me, I will strip naked and run down the street screaming like a little girl. I'm telling y'all, I do not fuck with spiders at all. There's nothing you can do to make me not fear the motherfucker. Extension of ourselves that look different. You know what I'm saying? We all interconnected. We just different versions of one source. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. give a fuck. So that's what so, I don't care. Keep the things away from me. So 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 now that, that understanding came to me in that moment. Again, it came to me. And I was like, even if this bitch is an alien, I'm I'm scared. I'm not being Hold on. So I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I really can't shoot you, bitch, because technically you're not attacking me. I'm just scared as a motherfucker. But I, I haven't been attacked. I'm just afraid of something I never seen before. Mm-hmm. So I threw my left arm out when I got the gun right here, and I'm like, I'm telling myself, I'm like, as long as this bitch don't lunge me, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grab that trigger. But bitch, soon as I feel any contact on my arm, I'm gonna blow your motherfucking head off. See how he's describing? First, he when he said that, that, that when he first when described he the story, he was talking about, do you trust me with your life? Do you trust me with your life? And he was like, bitch, you scared me. I'm about to shoot you. And she passed out. Now he's talking about some, I'm waiting for the contact and this, that, and the third. Like, it's exact, totally exaggerated. So that's what I told myself. So now I feel the goddamn, I feel the beam penetrating my aura. And as it's, as it's getting through, it's like I can feel it. I'm telling you, I'm, I, I can feel it in my inside. Like, I can feel this spirit trying to penetrate my fucking spirit. Like, I'm penetrate my aura. And then I just told my nose when I said that. It went, she passed out and she pissed on herself. I swear to God, all my life. Now, I, I have a question, that. guys. Go ahead. So, if he's been to jail um, for a gun charge before, um, how come he's not been charged now? Why is he not in jail over admitting to this whole gun thing? Because the person that um, he did it to didn't press charges. That's the question he's trying to clear right now, but I don't think there's no statute of limitations on that. He can still press charges on his ass. He's admitted it over and over publicly. Yeah. That's the evidence. That's all the evidence you need. I'm pretty sure somebody got that video of him describing it for the first time right after it happened. Because he kept, yo, the bitch pissed on my couch. And now he said, but notice that he turns this shit into like a movie. I feel the I feel the spirit trying to penetrate my era, my aura. And I said, no fear. And right then she passed. So he said some magic phrase and the spirit passed through her body or some shit like that. Come on, bro. This sounds like a fucking movie. But if the police would have came in here, it's like I can feel this spirit trying to penetrate my fucking spirit. Like trying to penetrate my aura. And then I just told myself, I'm like, no fear. And when I said that, it went, she passed out and she pissed on herself. I swear to God on my life. 
Now, I got maids in my house. The maids probably could have cleaned that shit up by then. But if the police would have came in here right then on the spot and DNA tested right there on the spot, it would have been pissed on my floor and it would have been pissed on my second soul. Now, Pete Game, when I said, I said, no fear. When I said it, when I said that to her, look at because the, I felt the beans on the pit table. So got- look at the lady face. Look at his face. They all looking like, come on, bro. You can't be fucking serious. Out on my kids, on my dead man, bro. She passed out. And when she passed out, whatever it was, that shit went through my ceiling. I swear to God in my life. That shit went through my ceiling. And that bitch passed out in my living room and it was piss on my goddamn floor. And she was laying in her own piss. Now I'm caught. I, now I jumped over her. Boom. I jumped over her body, her body on the floor. Yeah, I jumped over her body. I go sit halfway up my steps. Now while I'm it's halfway Gemini, up my steps, piece I'm of welcome. Gun at her. Now I went halfway up the steps because in my mind, I'm like, this might sound crazy, but in my mind, I'm like, bitch, if you get up and do some exorcist Emily Rose shit in my house, I'm gonna air you out in this motherfucker. I'm gonna air you out. So in my mind, I'm thinking. <laughs> so now this girl got to sit on the floor and play dead because he got a gun standing over top of her with a gun pointed to her. All I'm hearing is I got high and put a gun in this girl face, scared the bullshit out of her, made her piss her pants and pass out. And now this girl got to play dead on the floor because I'm standing over top of her with a gun talking about if she moves or any type of way like Emily Rose, quote unquote, I'm going to air you out. So that's a mission to threatening to shoot the woman. Even after she's Pass the fuck out. My nigga. You gotta come straight. And notice that he said he realized that he, earlier he said he realized that he was high, so he had to record, start recording and documenting this. Because if I do shoot one of y'all, I need to be able to explain myself. So this was gonna be what you was gonna tell him. Oh man. Imagine him telling this in court if he actually did do this. God forbid if he did do this shit. Imagine him telling this story in court. What y'all think the fucking court people going jury gonna say? That's gonna be a short ass motherfucking uh you know how they go back in the joint that they send the uh jury back to go make their decision. That's gonna be a short decision time. Dang, I wasn't gonna have that about 20 damn comments. Yep. <laughs> Hey, Miss Gemini. And then you got to come around the corner of the steps. So that's going to give me enough time to aim your ass. So, bitch, if you don't get up and come flying, bitch, I got enough time to aim at your ass. So, got right. it. as I'm sitting on the stairs. They ain't trying to make it seem like he just, was. Just, he, he, just. he was she tactical. Like, I'm calling this bitch name for like at least two, three minutes. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm like, just, just, just. I keep calling. I'm like, just, just. She not getting up. So, right. I come down the stairs. And I'm now I'm like kicking and tapping at her, but I got I still got the gun ain't at her, but I got the gun ain't at her legs because I'm like it's not a vital shot. It's not a vital shot. Then you just let us know that you were aware because you said you aimed it at her legs. That boy fantasized he was in Call of Duty. That's that's what I'm saying. He thought he was in some type of movie or some shit, or he's trying to turn it into a fucking movie because you just said you was co- incoherent. And then you just describe yourself being coherent enough to know to shoot her in the legs because it's not a vital shot. Like I said, I'm not even a motherfucking prosecutor and I will pick his fucking story to fuck apart. So I got the gun ain't that a leg. So I'm like, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. She's not getting up. I'm like, just I'm calling. Yeah, because she's playing dead. I grab her with my left arm, drag her around the couch. I throw her on that second sofa. Now, when I throw her on that second sofa, I back up to my entertainment system. And as I'm backed up to my entertainment system, I got the gun aimed at her legs. But I'm backed up because in my mind, I'm like, I don't want this bitch to wake up and think I did something to her. If this bitch wake up. So I'm backed all the way against the entertainment system, but I got the gun at her. I'm still calling. I'm like, Justin, 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 Justin. She's not getting up. So finally, she get up. And then when she get up, I'm like, yo, you know you, the first thing I ask her is, bitch, you know you passed out and you pissed on yourself, right? That's how I said, I'm like, bitch, you know you passed out and you pissing yourself, right? So she like, really? I'm like, yeah. So now I'm like, I'm like, look, I'm not gonna violate. I touched her with my left hand. I touched her. I'm like, look, like you passed out and you pissing yourself. So goddamn, she said you did magic on me. I'm like, bitch, I ain't do no magic on you, bitch. I never touched you. Don't play with me. Like, don't play with me. I'm like, were you still, were you still very paranoid at this time with the mushroom? That's false. 
When did Josh Netter ever say you did magic on me? Anybody ever hear that? Put a one in the chat if you heard that. Put a two if you never heard it. When has Josh Netter ever say that, said that shit? This you did story magic gets me. more and more extravagant every time he tells it. Yeah, it gets more and more. It's like a fictional novel. Josh Netter never said that shit. She was scared out of her goddamn mind. Fuck what she say you did magic on me. High or not. Yeah, this is all in the same moment. It's all in so, the same like, moment. my question is, up until she passed out, was she looking like skeletal or reptil reptilian or the whole Yeah, time? she looked like a reptilian, bro, but it left her, I seen it leave her body. And right. Yeah, he fucking and with then it. she passed out, like, right at that. It point. was, it was, it was, it was. Yeah, he fucking with it. <laughs> Did she still look like Skeletor or Reptilian or something? Like, he fucking with him. So she passed out. Was she looking like Skeletor or Repti Reptilian or the whole Yeah, time? she looked like a Reptilian, bro, but it left her, I seen it leave her body. Right. Yeah, these motherfuckers is smart. All you gotta do is, see, me, I fucked the whole interview up. First second he gets on the thing, I'm cussing him out. These niggas cater to his ego so he can keep going and embarrassing himself even more, which is a smart tactic. And then she passed. And look at the lady. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was in one moment. It's like as she was falling to the ground, the shit was leaving her body and going through the fucking ceiling. What was wow. in the cup that this person gave you? Mushroom tea. What does that mean? I don't know. I, I never had it before. What? I, guess she, I don't know if she boiled mushroom. Crystal, you never done salicylic before? Huh? Still diving is not going to do that to you. She said. <laughs> so she she she, she done just mushroom. Him out. That's not going to do um, that to you. Uh huh. She she done mushrooms before. She was like, uh, -uh that uh, uh don't try to compare that. He talking some old other shit. What does that mean? I don't know. I, I never had it before. I guess she. I don't know if she boiled mushrooms. Crystal, you never done salicylic before? Huh? Still yeah. typing is not gonna do that to you. <laughs> Look at the bull laughing. He like, nah, nigga, this nigga tripping. No. He said no. That's not psilocybin. That's for depression. I never did. Listen, I didn't dare soon. Look, she, she definitely did. calling him out. That is not psilocybin. That's for depression. Look at her face. To you. I know. No. That is not psilocybin. Some kind of psychologist, psychiatrist, uh, therapist, I, 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 something somewhere. like that. She she experiment with psychoactive drugs. Some legally though, some shit like that. Because the look on her face is that look they have mm -hmm. right before they get your ass committed. She was like. Mm. Gave him the side eye. You know somebody gave the side eye. They know you had yeah, nigga. You lied. I never right. did. Listen, I didn't dare soon before. I All right, so, so I imagine you're not doing that again. Shrooms? Yeah, you're done with that. It wasn't the shrooms, bro. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you hear what I'm telling you? So he's basically saying he's not done with shrooms because he was like, it wasn't the shrooms. It wasn't the shrooms. So what the fuck was it? You just said she gave you mushroom tea, and that's what had you. Fucking up, and now you're saying it wasn't the shrooms that did it. She looked like she I was like she I horrid behaviors. Would you say? I say she looked like she writing a dissertation on that horrid behaviors or something. Shrooms <laughs> before I ate edibles before you come back. That shit wasn't no goddamn whatever the fuck that shit was. It was some that other shit, other. Yeah, that wasn't no goddamn motherfucking shroom. That shit fucked me up for, for a long ass time. What's that mean? A long ass time? A couple of hours or a couple months. of months? Minute. It took me. It took me a minute to kick back. But what's a minute mean? Like months. a month. So he's trying to say that throughout all the months he was doing all that reckless shit, he was drugged. I was trying to figure out how when he said <clears throat> I did a lot of shit while I was drugged. I did this and I did that, and all the shit that he was talking about was just a couple of weeks ago. So he's trying to say that he's just now coming down. Off of the hot a year later, damn near. Okay, it's not like was, was that when you were creating the content? Like the police are coming, and then you had your homies at your place. Like things were getting really nah, listen, they came, they came. See, I told y'all this motherfucker was watching, and he knew what the fuck he was doing. He just told on himself. What did the minute mean? Like. Bumps. A month. month okay it's not like was, was that when you were creating the content like the police are coming and then you had your homies at your place like things were getting really nah, weird. Listen, they came, look they came he knew what the fuck was going on yeah i know dumb in the beginning so it was just, when that happened it was just me and her and her it wasn't no police around it wasn't no but he's saying 
when, when we were live last time, like months ago, you were talking about like the police incident and all that stuff. So did that happen after this whole thing? Yeah, that happened after I got damn live. That Some people are saying acid. Do you think it could have been acid? Because I know people that got stuck in a trip from acid. I don't know. I don't do drugs. All I know is all listen to me. All I know is when my man. I don't do drugs. Man, 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 man. Yes, Ty. That's exactly what I think. If Hold it was on. a black woman, he would have sucked her out. At least two or three times a week, this mofo live in the pool with a bong. So why exactly. he smoking out the bong? I don't know. He don't do drugs. That's not a hookah. That's a bong. He, he, he don't know. He, he don't know. He don't do drugs. <laughs> this cat drugs. <laughs> Y'all don't think that that was If it was acid, that bodyguard probably wouldn't have been able to get that gun from him. Look, nope. people have bad trips and do stuff like rip their own eyeballs out. Jump yep. out of the jump off the roof of very high buildings. Not everybody in there. You know, they fuck themselves and other people up. That's what a bad trip do to you. Hey, you would have fucked himself up and got everybody in that motherfucker. But what he trying to say is she yeah. not only does him, um, she got shrooms she in him, she puts other stuff in there too. But that's no. dumb. So. It sounds like he know what the other drug is that he consumed himself, but he just don't want to admit to it. And I... I think you right. Yeah, and think he don't want to tell it because the lady already told him that drug he named off wasn't don't worry, um, wasn't it, doing that. Wasn't wouldn't do something like that. It's a depressant or some shit. That's some stuff to calm you down. Exactly. Not to hype you up. Shots fired. Like meth, Molly, ain't no telling what he took. Because Just, the uh, essential man. ingredient oh. in Molly has not been available in the states for many many years that's why they be using shit like adderall and stuff because they can't get their hands on the other shit mostly mm. Shots. Yes, PCP, yeah that's some weed i'm like listen bro i'm stressed the fuck out i'm trying to tell him i'm trying to convey to him what happened <laughs> i'm just trying to convey to him what happened now from that going on from that going on goddamn Look, like, oh, he's trying to think of his next lie. <laughs> I'm just trying to convey to him what happened. Now, from that going on, from that going on, goddamn, she like, oh, she like, no, you shouldn't hit the weed because it might. She like, you can't have no drugs in your system. But in my mind, I'm like, it's just weed. I don't give a fuck if I got weed in my system. It's only but whatever weed. that was in your system. Yeah, but whatever the fuck. Did, huh? did you see this person after this whole thing happened? This female that fucked him up because he, weed, I don't give a fuck it if fucked I him up when you're lying. You're trying, to, you're trying to hold steadfast to it. <laughs> that fucked him up. She's like, wait, hold on. Huh? He fucked him all up because he's trying to think of his next lie. He got tripped up in the middle of it. Yeah, Sherm could do that too. I got a cousin that got high and never came down off of it. I might give him some wet. Yeah. Might give him some dust. And he never came down from the high. He in jail for murdering his step pot right now. Uh huh. Love boat, all of it. <laughs> Wiggles. I got weed in my system. It's only. But whatever weed. that was in your system. Yeah, but whatever the fuck. Did, huh? did you see this person after this whole thing happened? This female. Yeah, hell yeah! I thought her ass to come back. I had her come back. So what? Come back. Look, wanted, this is when she. Was going on. I want to see she was a goddamn. This police. is when the Asian guy stopped. So what? Too. I, yeah. She don't believe him. I had her come back. See. So what? Look at the Asian dude. Look at the Asian dude's face. He's like, all right, now, now that that's that's enough. Yeah, but whatever the fuck. Watch his uh, face. Did you see this person after this whole thing happened? This female. Yeah, hell yeah. I thought her ass would come back. I had her come back. Look at him. Uh, what? Because I wanted to, I wanted to see what the fuck was going on. I wanted to see if she was the goddamn police or something. The boy, the so what happened just with her? Was she, did laugh. she shape shift again? Like what happened? Nah, did she nah, shape shift she again? Been, she just might have been a stupid ass bitch, but she might not have been police. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't okay. know. So how many times did you hang out with this person? Multiple times, multiple times. Even to check it, huh? Even come on, Farrow. Seriously, Look, why? He making because fun I of me. Sure she wasn't trying to uh, kill me or something. Uh, Even I come on, Farrow. Uh, seriously, uh, why? Because I had to make sure she wasn't trying to kill me or something. Because I got a lot of knowledge <laughs> up in this motherfucker's house. Wow, so I believe that. To, back to make sure she wasn't trying to kill me. Makes no sense. That's why she said that. 
<laughs> she said it. I believe that because he fucking retarded. Oh my god! Oh, they will though. I had to make sure you wasn't like. I'm gonna just be honest. I had to make sure, bitch. Will we? Is we doing it or we not? Because I didn't know what was going on. Is we doing it or we not? Because like I said, I didn't been the. I know. I know what could really happen to your ass. Period. So I'm like, I don't play them type of games. So I had to make sure I ain't know. All I knew was, oh shit, I'm drugged. What the fuck going on? What the fuck going on? Okay, ain't nothing going on. We can all go back to our, and I can go back to getting. Because I'm opening up a bank. I'm over here doing big shit. I don't got time for it anyway. There you I go. Sure where nobody trying to get me. That's it. It's human traffic. It's all kind of shit going on. You well, know well, what well, I like? Huh? Go ahead. Yeah, well, why be, here, let me ask you something. So what? What I'd love to know is um. You know, when you when I first discovered you a couple years back, you know, mm. you talked about African ancestry, the real legit ancestry, true mm. history. You were calling out the deep state, going really deep into the politics and calling out a lot of shit. Uh -huh. And you you have this unique ability to explain things in a way that's very entertaining, funny, but very powerful as well. Uh -huh. He's probably these he got hooked up with that got him hooked up with CPAC. Yep. I just don't I gotta be real with you, man. The I just don't the higher her eyebrows keep going. Uh -huh. By the end of this video, Joe will be all the way back here. You know, the other day you posted your negative STD results. You got a lingerie stripper pool party happening, which Chris is going to come down and hang out with you. I don't know. Maybe it might be ladies only. I don't know. Oh, creep shit. Like this is creep shit. Like, what women would want to go to a party where it's just hundreds of women or and him? him. 20s of women and just him so they can be all fighting over your attention no one shut the fuck up bro you sound really stupid i know but you know what i'm saying like your your content changed a lot so um with listen a here, lot of people here, are confused here. as to what okay. listen here listen here i got over a thousand no videos on that university over yeah. one thousand even listen here Harvard professors didn't want to debate me. You can go to, we can all go to Harvard right now. For the last fucking time, they don't want to debate you because it's pointless to debate you. You have no credentials. They're not backing out. They're declining. Declining and backing out is two different things. Backing out is being scared to debate you. They know who you are and they just don't want to debate you and get the loss on their record. They don't want to debate you because they don't want the win on their record because their peers are going to look at them like, why the fuck was you even giving the time and attention to this riffraff? This motherfucker didn't even graduate middle school. Why are you debating him? And he strikes that off as a win. We could go right now. That's a fact. Harvard professors ran from me in debates on Egypt. There's not nobody on the planet Earth that know more about Egypt than me. So I feel like I've been teaching for been there 10 years. I feel like a lot of people, if they see this shit, they'll be offended. Uh, Jabari, Seti, Shaka. It, it, it's, a, it's a whole list of people over there at Dirty Frankie House that will be highly offended. Him saying he got, it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of master teachers that are still alive that will be highly defended that this motherfucker said this shit. They're straight with no break. People can leave me the fuck alone and let me go enjoy my motherfucking life. And I've been teaching on a level that y'all not teaching on. Y'all not teaching on a level. Where it's on uh, IG. Okay, so is that why you've like pulled back from that yeah. specifically? Because no, you've literally I, I been... Just, I'm still going to do my thing, but it's like I keep getting deleted. It's stressful. It's like no, I hear, I hear you. Y'all not the motherfuckers that got to keep rebuilding, up, trying to rebuild a fight. No, I hear you. Yeah, after you just got deleted at 560000 no. no. That was... Four or five channels ago, you got deleted at eight thousand. Oh, it's like yeah, that's that. I'm some like, shit. I'm like, and then another thing is when it came to vlogging, right? I'm not in this. I'm gonna just bring this up one time. When it came to vlogging, <clears throat> I never wanted to do the vlog. That was never my idea. My 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 people was at the time wanted to do the vlogs, but I said it to say this. That's all I ever did did anyway. Originally, when I was by myself, because I came up by myself. Little do people know. Before before any relationship, I was already at damn near fifty thousand subscribers on YouTube doing my thing. So I said to say this. All I was doing was gaming and doing lectures anyway. I'm tired of doing lectures. Right. I'm building right now. Like, I'm ready to get into the... Now you're tired. How are you tired of doing lectures? See? That's how you knew he wasn't going to do that shit what he just told on himself. That's how you knew he wasn't going to do that shit with Dallas. He's tired of lectures. I thought it was because Golden Beauty stole his projector. 
Now he's tired of lectures. You you were supposed to do one lecture in last how many years? Has it has it been since he's done a lecture? For about four or five. In you in the first lecture, you burn everybody out the money. You burn everybody. Blame it on Golden Beauty. And then you claim that you're tired of lectures. What type of shit is that? World and be a real life humanitarian. I'm not somebody who just could just be waiting. Exactly. Just I'm chilling. not just wasting my life. It's not like I'm partying my life away. I have a you a are schedule that works for me. It works for me. It may not work for the next person, but it works for me. I'm mm -hmm. not out here committing crime. I'm out here getting money and doing shit that's how are you not committing crimes? You that made a thousand terroristic threats, assault on family members and women, all women. You didn't threaten to kill a million people. You shot at your baby mom's house. What crimes are you not committing? I live in the community. Period. I, I know, but on your but listen to me. I respect you, right? And, and yeah. I just want to just say this out loud. But the, uh, your content, you mm -hmm. know, I'm wondering what kind of value it offers to people. Like everyone has to, you know, at least give something of value out there, educate and empower. Right, Ty, and you would think that he would spend some of that you, money to go to Egypt. More of like, hey, this is my new card. This is my new album. You know, I'm not seeing your content being for your, your tribe like it used to be. And I think if you gave a little bit of that, I think you would win a lot of your audience back. One, It's, all, it's all right there on the university. Listen to Meaning, let me translate that for you. I ain't got nobody else shit to steal. So y'all gonna have to go watch all that other shit I stole. <laughs> dude is trying, he dude not even black and he trying to tell him what the, look nigga, if you go back to teaching, he's, he's politely telling him you need to stop the bullshit that you're doing and go back to teaching. He's saying, he basically saying, I don't want to. But you just claim that you, you generally love information, you, you genuinely love to teach. He flip flopping. No, but a lot of people, but mother, a lot of people dropped off from your platform. A lot of people dropped that's off. After whatever a, lot of people. a lot of people, a lot of people dropped off from my platform. That's true, but I keep also getting deleted. It's not my fault that people dropped off my platform. That's not. My thing is, my issue is not that people dropped off my platform. You can drop off my platform. If somebody, if you had real, you know, followers and shit, that core following was that eight thousand. Everybody else dropped the fuck off not hard to find your new channel every time you put one up this motherfucker's one stop coming back i can go in a lot of directions my thing is i don't have the energy to keep trying to rebuild something that people keep deleting that university so fuck, work. That. fuck that either go to like i'm like y'all not the one staying up for two days in a row you ever read a fucking book for three days straight no no you have it you have not you ever read no you have not so whether you, whether you, you ain't doing if you did, you ain't doing it now. Half y'all motherfuckers wouldn't try it. So y'all not the ones living. How I, I, I'm lost. He, he he records a video on at least one platform every day. So when do you have time? When when did when did he have time to read three books in a uh, for three days? I mean, read a book for three days straight. I'm lost. You post several times. On at least one or two platforms a day. Being in the library, pretty much. I love to read. I love information, but I'm tired of studying. It's like imagine going to school to be a doctor. Nah, he's tired of studying. You never took a break off. You never took one of them. So whatever they call them, you never took one of them. Summer sabbaticals. Summer. What you call it? Sabbatical. 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 I never took a sabbatical. I never. He's a very intellectual man. He didn't know what a sabbatical was. Very intellectual. Or took that. I've been doing this shit since before y'all even seen me publicly in a prison. So my mind is filled with knowledge. I know enough shit that if I didn't want to come back in this library, probably for five, 10 years, I probably would could survive outside. So okay. your, your stance is since the information. So basically what he's saying is I know every fucking thing. And I don't need to study no more. It's already on, on university. It's all out go there. Let me, and let me go over here and make this money and do what the fuck I'm about to do. I'm building the bank. Give me the fuck alone. Go over there and watch one of them videos. Everything has been done for you. Shit is right there. The goddamn information is right there. Where it came from is right there. Do whatever the fuck you're going to do with it. I don't give a so, fuck. Damn it. So, but Spyro, like, so you're, you don't consider yourself like before you were a content creator. So maybe now what you're doing is you shifted your focus to something else. That's not content creation. And a lot yeah, of people don't understand that, yeah, yeah, but yeah. also, like, Rallo, but a lot of people don't understand someone down. like you. There's a lot of comments in the section that people are saying he's crazy.
But a lot of people don't understand content creation. And a lot yeah, of people but, don't understand that. Yeah, 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 but yeah. also, like, fellow. But a lot of people. Fellow. She's shutting down. I'm going to go ahead and drop down. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. I still got you rolling. All right. Mm -hmm. And someone like you, there's a lot of comments in the section that people are saying he's crazy. He's this, he's that. But when you, you have a different level of understanding and intelligence, like that's obvious. We know that you've been doing this way longer than any of us have been fucking doing this. So we're just trying to understand like where you're coming from, where you're headed, where you're going and like how we can support that. Because your experiences that you've had, like there's certain people on this planet that have had those experiences and most people won't believe that. Like, oh mm -hmm. yeah, this person witnessed it, this person shapeshifting, or this person, you know, can can um, astral travel and go into different realms of existence. That's not normal conversation to have. So automatically, people are going to assume that you're fucking insane. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to just say. That's not like she basically telling him that I think you're fucking insane. To you that I love listening to your stories because they sound outlandish to people that, that don't understand um, or, or never experienced mm. that. So it sounds insane to people, but it's also a level where in this day and age where the, the, this big awakening is happening, that people can maybe learn something from these crazy experiences that you've had, whether Selena, they think they're crazy or not. Welcome. Yeah. I don't mind talking. I don't mind talking about them as long as people stop. Karen Ray, about what does that mean? Talk. What's that mean? I knew she was going to say that. Crazy. It's, not, it's a lot of weird things people doing back out here in the street. That's all I'm saying. Right. I don't mind teaching people when coming to the street, but don't play with me on the street. That's all I'm saying. I don't play them games. I don't play them type of games. I don't play them. Yet. But but yes, you are correct. And that's it. That's all I'm saying. But you are correct. Yeah. Let me straight up. What was the, um, you know, last year was a very challenging year for you. You know, mm -hmm. those platforms that you worked your ass off for on multiple platforms. Mm -hmm. it's not, you're right. Yeah. Um, and then you had your family conflict, which we don't need to get into. But what would you say is like the most important lesson that you've extracted from 2021, from your personal experience with the people, your family, everything that happened? That the most important thing in life is to try to be a righteous person because it's, it's beings on another level that's watching everything you do even though you think you're not. To try your best to be a righteous per Get the fuck. Ooh. That's always the, that's the lesson that I got read. I ain't gonna say I ever forgot it, but that's what helped me change my life in the first place. And that experience is what is, is, is what reminded me of why the fuck I live a certain way. That's the biggest lesson. In hindsight, in hindsight, do you think that maybe with your family and the way you handled um, your audience, maybe you could have done things a little bit differently? I think yeah, some people are still kind of outside a little bit, you know? Yeah, I could have done things a lot of a lot of bit differently, but I feel like I did things in a certain way because I feel like a lot of people are not paying attention and they're so far behind in life that you got to do literally anything to get their attention just to catch them up. I feel like I've taught so much information over the years that it would be impossible for me to sit in a room and or, or it would be impossible for me to duplicate what I just did. <laughs> it, it would be impossible. So I had to kind of act a little frantic to, to you get You can't duplicate what you just did because everybody didn't the, your work that you didn't stole from them then probably didn't caught on to it. And now they're making it so you can't steal their work anymore. Give many understandings at one time while catching people up because we got people at super low levels of society. And I don't have to, you know, it's just a lot of it's a people are not paying attention to what's going on in the real world and they just need to, you know, they just need to catch up. So but yes, I do agree it's a lot of that was the zestiest shit I've ever seen in my life. Did this nigga just Snap his fingers. The things I could have did different for like super low levels of society. And I don't have to, you know, it's just a lot of, it's a, people are not paying attention to what's going on in the real world and they just need to, you know, they just need to catch up. So, but yes, I do. And did a lot the of spirit finger. He snapped his fingers and then did the spirit fingers. Snapped his fingers. And then did the, those are not spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. <laughs> oh, shit. But given the circumstances, I felt like I did the best I could at the time. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, Appreciate that, man. Uh, that Chris, you've been, you've been suddenly uh, observing or judging. I don't know what you're thinking, man. What, what do you got to say? Not judging. So what I'm finding hmm. very yeah, yeah. informative and just interesting is I've been kind of scrolling, like seeing the comments, and I noticed yeah. that there seems to be a big discrepancy, or at least on average, the people who have the like kind of what Crystal was alluding to, people who really think that his story is that far outside of the realm of incredulity possibility or or, or you know, frequency that it actually happens yes and i think that all them things not you know I, I find the <laughs> one person I listen to a tremendous amount of people's experiences and i'm convinced of one thing if if nothing Young more, ratchet that these shit. substances be they shrooms lsd or whatever that was in that tea are not really like the word hallucination is the red herring i don't believe yeah. that anything that doesn't exist exists in someone's head that doesn't exactly. make any sense so I see it, and other people have spoken on this before, as much more of a perception permission slip. 
right? Mm. Perceptibility permission slip, right? And if that permission slip allows you to more clearly or more in intimately or more colorfully or more fractaloidally or I don't know, whatever adjective you want to throw into it, mm. experience a situation, especially when it comes to an interpersonal situation, right? Digital right. communication is cool, but like, until like 20 years ago, mm. everybody who talked, talked in person with that bot. So what, what one man experiences in his real life, yeah, T or not, T notwithstanding, is as real as it needs to be for you to consider what he's saying, especially if his track right. record has proven. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, I've been body fine. There's like, <laughs> if sitting on the bench, you're on the bench. If you're really? working in the game, you're getting recruited. I was unaware of a lot of the drama. I was kind of like, because they got that plan too. So who knows? We just got to ask them. It might be real or it might be interesting that now the media and the government are insinuating that we might have a fucking alien invasion. Like, what do you make of this? It might be real or it might be if they're trying to use the 4D to act like we're getting invaded by aliens and it's not really real. Because they got that plan too. There you go with the conspiracy. We just got to ask them, is it, is it a real invasion or not? Before people just react. I could come to your house right now and be like, I just got jumped up the street and you come out the house flying and shooting at people, but I might be lying. Right. So but how can you tell the difference? Just like you was fucking lying about everything you just said. Sparrow, what would how would people be able to differentiate? Ask, Put me on the news. Who? Who? Ask who? Huh? Ask who? The government. Put me on the news and let me ask. Are we really getting invaded by aliens or not? Or don't put me on it. I don't know, but I feel like I'm just about to start enjoying my life. And if aliens come attacking me, I guess we would get invaded if they don't. Bruh, you just said you work for the government. Now you want to ask the government. Now you want to go against. I I'm so fucking lost. I guess we. I guess I'm enjoying my life. But what do y'all want me to do? Y'all not listening. People ain't nobody listening. But it's just Listen, bizarre. Now. It's just bizarre that they're talking about in the mainstream news and the, and what. All right, so we're gonna get into this next video. I'm done listening to them. Kiss his ass. Oh, <laughs> whatever the fuck they doing. RJ, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I think they're all just a bit too soft. I feel like they're trying to make him incriminate himself and embarrass him, embarrass himself. But at the same time, they're also like um, entertaining what he's saying. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they're not very real. They're quite fake. Yeah, yeah. that's what I. That's what I feel. I feel like they got him on there for views. They don't really give a damn about him. Yeah, like nobody holds him accountable for his behavior. And why didn't they mention the shooting of his baby mom's house? Like that's the most severe. He said um, he's not going to happen. He said he wasn't going to get into it. You remember that he was like, "It's some other drama that happened with your baby mom. We're not going to discuss that." Yeah, but that's what they need to be discussing, not the um fairy tale that he's trying to make out with Jocelyn. Exactly. So we're going to get into this last video where he did that interview on Night and Day News Network and listen to how I want you guys to you remember the story he just told. Everybody remember the story that he just told. Put a one in the chat if you remember the story that he just told about how he was drugged. Because I want you all to listen to him tell this story on this interview because it's a whole different fucking story. It's a whole different story. Um, Infinity, I didn't see the video, but I saw him leave like a comment in someone's um YouTube section, basically telling the story about how he got scammed while he was driving yeah. Pharaoh's vehicle. Yeah. But I didn't I see the video. He said he took $30,000 from it. Yeah. And we all know that we can't trust YP's side of the story. On in this interview, I got a lot of great achievements. In we live. What's up, fam? We live. What's good? What's good? Good people. What's up, Curry Gang? Tune in. Tune in. What's going on with? You see, we got the brother. We got the good brother, Young Fire on. On you know what I'm saying. So, 
We're gonna, we're oh gonna, yeah, we're gonna let it's about to get deep today. Yeah, <laughs> how y'all brothers doing? We doing good. And I, I, you know, I'm, I mean, people be they be used to me saying queens and goddess, but I only can say that when you display that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now I got to call it like it a bitch drug me. I went through a lot psychologically, but I, I shook back. You know, I know a lot of people wanted to see me down. A lot of people prayed on my downfall, but you know what I'm saying? I don't go down. I'm like the running back nobody could tackle. So, you know, I just want to say that I'm doing great, you know, and, and you know, uh, I'm a notice how hard he's, he, this is an interview about him just plain bragging and boasting about achievements that he never did. I'm going to pass the introduction back to y'all, but as we get on in this interview, I got a lot of great achievements and announcements to make. Okay, cool. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This is how you know he lying. He either do some with his mouth. Oh, he's been sniffing. Or yeah, that too. His nose, <laughs> I am Jeannie nose wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh God. I'm doing great, you know. And, wow. and you know, uh, I'm gonna let I'm gonna pass the introduction back to y'all. But as we get on in this interview, I got a lot of great achievements and announcements to make. Wiggle, okay, wiggle. cool. What's yes, up, sir? family? All right, I guess we gonna let them, you know, pile up a little bit more before. Yeah, let them let them pile up a little bit. Peace, peace. What's up, Kenya? What's up? What's going family? on? All right, let's get into what he's saying. What's up? Uh, what's going on? Uh, got the shockers in there. Everything I've been talking about on YouTube is in this book. You know what I'm saying? And I said to say this: I'm the most intelligent black man in the world today. I've been a genius since I was 15 years old. And you know what I'm saying? I, I really was debating people in prison, jailhouse scholars. I became a jailhouse lawyer, and that's how I held myself down. I also became the number one black attorney in the country. And when I got out of <laughs> oh man. I forgot this was the, the title video when he first started giving all himself his himself all these wild ass titles. Prison, I decided to take my knowledge to my people and I did it for free. I, I was getting on the Greyhound, traveling all around the country with a big ass projector screen, just doing straight lectures. Mm -hmm. And um You didn't do it for free. You was charging people twelve dollars. Stop fucking lying. You were charging people twelve dollars. Greyhound traveling all around the country with a big ass projector screen, just doing straight lectures. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what I'm saying? I built my community up. I, I created a state of the art Witch. university. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and share it right now. If these gentlemen don't mind, really. yeah, go ahead. You yeah, know, share it, share your thing, man. Definitely. Okay, like. I created yep. a state of the art university, and I want to say that my shit is official. You know, if you don't got permission from the state, you can't be running the school. I want to throw that out there because you got a lot of niggas trying to mimic my university. I got it up, gentlemen. If y'all want to hit it, at the, yep. yeah, you got a lot of people that want to mimic my. Uni the state is not gonna give nobody credentials to run a school or any type of education system without no fucking credentials. That's why he keeps flashing the letter. I just realized that. That's why whenever you see him flash these this so-called letter from the state, he flashes it so nobody can read it. University. So this is our university, you feel me? I got thousands of videos here. And like I said, recently most of y'all may know me or white America may know me because if you go to the political crime section, I expose the Democrats for cheating during the election. But I got thousands of videos if mm -hmm. you go here to my YP classic videos, all my videos I ever did from YouTube. Oh, he took a lot of shots. And now he's here. I got out of prison in 2015. Got a whole video of him this. talking about and all of my shit is here. I got over a thousand lectures here. I got videos on math. You know, I got a whole category on math. Yeah. You know, teaching calculus, trigonometry, saying just all kind of shit that we need to know. And I did, you know, I, what happened with me was I decided, you know, y'all can unshare the screen. I'm, I'm good. I, you know, y'all can check that out. That's time university. It's an app. Also, it was number one on the app store on April 30th. 2021, I made $1.4 million in, in 2020. I turned myself to a millionaire. Now I'm about to become a trillionaire and I'm higher in the United States military. I got a shout out from the CIA, ex CIA agent Robert Steele. They're allowing, me, they're allowing me to build a nation. I already got the entire uh, handbook for my country, you know, mapped out. I've acquired 51. America ain't never let nobody, no, especially no black man build no motherfucking nation. <laughs> he think he's single handedly doing it. Get the fuck out of here. One acres of land. For those of you who don't know, that's 51 football fields. I'm getting ready to build a palace over there. Also, a museum where I'm gonna um, take back all of the Egyptian artifacts, not just from the, the British Museum, but around the world. Um, I'm building a state of the art healing facility. Where like like Trip C said last time we heard him say this, whole governments have tried to get those artifacts back, but he single handedly is supposed to get them back. I think not. Definitely not from the British Museum. Definitely, definitely not. There's no way they're holding on to that stuff. They ain't letting anybody get back. <laughs> exactly. I think it was Trip C's who said this uh last time we heard him say this. Uh I think it was some type of government that went and asked them for uh the artifacts. I think it was Egypt. Might have been Egypt. Who went back and asked for those artifacts back and the and the British government told them we'll let you borrow. 
think it was Trip C's that said that. Tro techniques and Reiki techniques, but I'll also be doing sound healing as well, cleaning the cellular system out with uh, cymatic frequency. Um, I'm a genius. I've been a genius all my life. I'm a polymath. A polymath is someone who has a top level 1% of multiple subject matters. So I don't just I'm know. I'm pretty history. sure Sadie's university math, does. Um, I'm also teaching myself Japanese and Chinese now as we speak. And I'm also studying the uh, natural remedies and cures. How can you teach yourself a different language? That doesn't make sense. You mean you're learning from Rosetta Stone? Never seen somebody teach themselves a language. How you know what you're reading in the first place? Without somebody that does that doesn't uh that does know the language. It makes no sense. As a top level one percent. I know you teach yourself matter. the right so word. I don't just know history, I know science, math, English. Um, I'm also teaching myself Japanese and Chinese now as we speak, and I'm also studying the uh natural right, remedies and cures for you know, 85% of chronic diseases out today, not just STDs, not just cancers, but a lot of different uh, things such as tumors, et cetera. And I'm going to turn myself into a doctor. I've home birthed both my children. Um, I've done lectures or excuse me, interviews. I told y'all he think he a doctor because he home birthed his kids. He didn't even home birth. Nope. He did. He, he, he did, but it was a midwife that actually did. Do it. Yeah, he was, <laughs> he was just bad. He just cut the cord. And all of a sudden yeah. he's a doctor. Gerber, um, the real Rick Ross, once again, um, Robert Steele. Uh, I was supposed to meet Donald Trump at CPAC, but they, you know, the, they're, you know, they canceled me for whatever reason. We, a, a group of people, we ain't gonna speak on their name, but they canceled me. They didn't want me there. Um, and you know what I'm saying? My, my, my teachings and my mind has not swayed. I would say my opinion has swayed, and my opinion in my teaching on a black woman is God has swayed. You know what I'm saying? I believe, you know, at this point, I'm gonna say the black woman is God is as far as reflected as the universe and new to Egypt. But you know, I would tell my queen that. I'm the sun and my relationship is supposed to reflect the solar system. So you are a planet. Just like the sun got nine planets that orbit it. You know, every planet mm -hmm. will, will be potentially of my queen and she is to absorb and reflect my light. Just like the planets absorb and reflect the light oh of, the, of the sun. And each and every planet has a different size and different position and different depth of which it rotates and revolves around the sun. But yet the sun shines on all these planets and it doesn't play favoritism. So, you know, from this point on, I won't be saying, you know, when I say the black woman is God, let's not take that shit too Where's far. Still you know that's all I want to say. Let's not take that shit too far. But um, my other accomplishments, you know, I've done songs with dizzy right yuck mouth uh jada kiss um you know so many so many so many there's been so many you know uh mr mintz jacksonville jaguar good friend of mine um you know able killer true heel ufc fighter good friend of mine uh uh connie air killer gorilla mma good friend of mine you know me and israel out of sign have exchanged words before my old instagram got deleted which was at 276 000. me and <laughs> He take a picture with her somebody one time and they become <laughs> good friends. You yeah. want to speak on that? You want to speak on why uh why they deleted your YouTube? Well, they deleted my YouTube because I exposed the Democrats for cheating Donald Trump out of the election. It's just that simple. And they violated my freedom of speech. My YouTube really had a million subscribers, but they, they froze me at 560,000. You know I really did. was at a million and I'm about to get back there. How do you know you was at a million? How do you know that they froze your subscribers and they was and you were really at a million? What it just shows them your subscribers stopping at one spot, <laughs> but you can still see the numbers. No, that doesn't make sense. And he said he's about to get back there. Mm, look at you now. And you know, I also did videos exploding. And did we say that he's never getting back there because that channel about to get deleted anyway? I could have sworn Trip C's, but one of us said this shit. I know for a fact if anybody said it, it probably was Trip C. That channel about to go anyway because he's, he's starting that shit back up again with the Joe Biden uh, binder. Exposing George Floyd as a psyop. And I know a lot of black people don't want to hear this, but Trayvon Martin was a hoax too. I know y'all don't want to hear that. But now, this shit pissed me off. And he's, he, got the, he showed the DVD of where he got it from. So that information didn't come from him. He got a DVD from somebody. And trying to turn it into him exposing it because I remember him holding up the DVD. But this is highly disrespectful to Trayvon Martin, to his family, Trayvon's legacy. He deserves somebody to kick his teeth down his throat for that. But Trayvon Martin was a hoax. So I had the doctor and the person who did the documentary on that said that to me like three years ago. I had that info. So I've been sitting on that info since Buffalo. So I just want to let people know I only put out probably nine, 12 percent of what I really know. And that's already. Yeah, I've been sitting on that info. You've been sitting on somebody else's info. 
blowing niggas out the water. So when I come with even more information, I don't know what to tell y'all. But like I so said, do you think do you think the Black Lives Matter thing is definitely a psyops? Yeah, it's a psyops. You know what I'm saying? If you pull my matter of fact, pull my university. Let, let me share my screen and pull my university back up real quick. Okay. Let me let you know, me they, go back. They, 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 they were still in millions and buying houses. And I went like in that. on that shit years ago. I went in on that shit years ago. Wait a minute, Black Lives. Hold on, wait a minute. It's in here. Like I said, it's in here. If y'all go to more and then y'all scroll down, let me find politics because there's so many damn politics. If y'all go to politics right here, I believe it's right here in the deep state exposed. Black Lives Matter. I've been winning on them. I went in on them 6, 18, 20. Nobody listened. I went in on the LG, how they was funded by L George Soros, how the goddamn, the, the woman was not only an undercover feminist, but it actually was for promotion of transgender men. It wasn't even about heterosexual men in her. And this is no disrespect to Jews, but my jeweler is a jeweler and he been a, he's Jew and he's been a real nigga since day one. So I ain't- You ain't got no fucking jeweler, my nigga. That jewelry faked in a motherfucker. You got that shit at the kiosk in the middle of the mall. <laughs> She's in the Jewish community, but what I want to say is her stepfather was a Marxist and Karl Marx was a Jew. And, and they undercover Marxists. And, and George Soros is not only funding them, he's funding the LGBTQ and he also funded Media Matters. And Media Matters is important because th that's the false organization that did the uh, article on me on CNN after CPAC, CPAC canceled me. And I want to say this too, because somebody in the crowd in the comments said I'm a scammer. And I don't dress the comments, but I want to say this. The people that said I was a scammer, Brother Polite, who's actually a scammer, and his crony, YK The Truth. No. I said you were a scammer. KKC said you were a scammer. Trip C said you were a scammer. RJ said you were a scammer. Bill Within said you was a scammer. Uh, Kulu said you were a scammer. King World said you were a scammer. Transcript said you was a scammer. That's six uh, six other people right there. And, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's kind of, oh, 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 conscious community said you were a scammer. That's eight. And I'm pretty sure there's plenty more people out there that call you a fucking scammer, bro. You are a fuck. And the person in the audience that just called him a scammer. That's not. You are a fucking scammer, bro. You can't, you can't just smudge that off your record. You took woman, you took money and donations from a dead woman. Of your own race, took a logo from children. Claim you start in the bank. Got money for a lawyer that you didn't need money for. Spun but quite dropped the case, spun back around. Got more money for that lawyer that you didn't need. Said you was gonna open up a store, daycare, store and daycare. And then you just scammed Dallas. How are you not a fucking scammer? Trolling me. I actually sued Brother Polite for two hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars for putting out those false claims because I know that you didn't get, and you still not gonna get. See, what motherfuckers don't realize is just because you sue somebody, don't mean you gonna get that money. Know what y'all saying? Y'all saying I scammed Sandra Bland when actually all I did was change my name and my profile picture to Sandra Bland. Wow, I didn't know he lied about that. You did scam? Y'all saying I scammed Sandra Bland? You did. When actually all I did was change my name and my profile picture to Sandra Bland when she died. I never in the history of my life. Had a GoFundMe donated to Sandra Bland, and you can ask her. Yes, you did. Had a GoFundMe. Get the yes, fuck out. Did. You had a whole Go GoFundMe. He Donation. made tens of thousands of dollars. Exactly. The mom had to come out and tell people to stop sending donations to that shit, and she had to check him directly. And he kept the money. Kept the money. Every penny of it. Her actual mother and sister that because I talked to the actual family and Sandra Bland. I never scammed nobody. Yeah. She, we well, we didn't talk to her, but we heard her, her her side of the story. And if I was a scammer, I wouldn't have filed taxes. Because scammers don't file taxes. Ask polite, do we file taxes? He don't. So I just want to say that. Can y'all please stop throwing dirt on my name? We don't know if you file taxes either, my nigga. We don't know if you file taxes. That tax form was forged like a motherfucker. The earnings can't be the same as your, your your losses. Doesn't make sense. I never was a scammer. I never was a scammer. And, and, and I ain't gonna bring my ex up, but you can even ask my ex. Despite what we've been through, she'll tell you I never was a scammer. I, my, my parole officer. Yeah, because she was a fucking participant. Of course she's not gonna tell on you. I tell you I never was a scammer. I made my money traveling around doing lectures. I've been doing my taxes every year. I've been doing my taxes every year. Not just 2020. Yeah, I but you put them on it. You, yeah, you can put those on your taxes. And still keep the donation money and not put it. But Umar didn't tell people about the don't then put donations on his taxes for three whole fucking years. I've been doing my taxes, all, I've been filing taxes every year. 
So I'm not a scammer. I still file taxes to this day. I cut actual checks. My ex bodyguard that I fired, that nigga was getting a check. That nigga was getting direct deposit and check from all my, I run legitimate business. I got a CPA. All my shit is legit. My paperwork is right. All my paperwork is right. I'm actually about to hire the highest ranking sergeant in the United States military. I'm about to hire the, I think it's called the sergeant. You can't hire military officials. You can't hire them unless they're retired, maybe <clears throat> retired ex military, but you're not hiring military people that are still active. You can't. Your master, I'm about to actually hire her as my secretary. So for anybody saying I'm scamming, I just want y'all to stop throwing dirt on my name like that because I've been official and I've been the best that the community has to offer. And I've been doing let me ask you something real quick. I, I see you say you work with the military and you work with the CIA. What is your thoughts on some of the corruption that they were engaged in throughout the years? Like, do you feel I, like I, 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 I'm the one that exposed it? So yeah. everybody, everybody should know my thoughts on it because I'm the one that exposed it single handedly. But so I'm like, if niggas don't go to the political section of our university and watch that shit and see what I had to say, I don't know what to tell them. Nigga, you know right. what I'm saying? They just took down Disney. I've been did a lecture on Disney. I just actually re-uploaded it on my channel. From So my thing is, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know what to tell people. All I can say is, I Make feel sure more hit that like button, at the family. corruption in my community than I do the government because at the end of the day, I never expected the white man to have too much loyalty to me because he's not a... My man, you you have done the, the most corrupt shit in our generation to our community. You got the fucking nerve my race i'm really i'm really upset about the corruption in the black community going on with black men and black women and the envy and jealousy that's going around but if i have to do say so myself you know see only scammer motherfuckers call people calling them out on their scams envious and jealous it's, it's a master sergeant i'm sorry she's in a master sergeant thank you but if i have to do say so myself you know what i'm saying i've been spoke on bill gates i've been i'm the one that exposed how, how, how Margaret Sanger was working with Bill Gates' father and how Planned Parenthood used to be called the Negro Project and how Bill Gates was trying to kill us with the vaccines. I'm the one that exposed that. I'm the one that exposed Pizzagate and how Hillary Clinton said it wasn't no basement under there when James Elefantis clearly said he put tomatoes under there. I'm the one that caught Hillary. I'm the one that caught everybody. I caught Obama. I caught Hillary. I'm the one that caught the whole goddamn, the whole corrupt federal administration up underneath Biden. The motherfuckers that was doing the Russian collusion hoax and trying to take down Trump. Bro, you know how many fucking hit Hillary Clinton videos and Obama videos and deep state videos that have been out years before you even thought about even looking in that direction. Dark Alchemist, peace and welcome. Years. These motherfucking conspiracies been out before, damn near probably before you was born. People have been talking about these conspiracies for a long time before any, anybody even seen Young Pharaoh on the internet. He's always claiming somebody else's work. I'm the one that caught everybody. So I'm like, if y'all didn't pay it no attention, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wasn't paying attention. I don't know what to tell y'all, but I'm. Watch the NBA Finals live on ABC with YouTube TV. Try it free. This Hyperline Frass Bundle is. Hold up. Let me let this commercial go by. Unlike anything else on the planet, it is the most over the. I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all can share my screen again. Don't worry, the commercial's about to come off soon. Could do y'all could go right here to politics and just pick a category and go. I got a whole lecture. I did this in Washington, DC after I spoke in front of the White House with Dr. Amela Samuels in 1776 exactly. and Dr. Corey Williams exactly, and everybody bro. that was up there. I did this November 1st, 2020, political genius of discovery of democratic treason. I've been I've been doing all of this U.S. political crimes. I Jeffrey, I'm the one that exposed Jeffrey Epstein for being Israeli Messiah's biggest spy. I'm the one that exposed the Biden family. You feel me? Nah, I'm the one that admit that the U.S. government attacks black youth so they don't fight back against corruption. I'm the one. I thought the black. I thought the black. I meant the white man don't do nothing to you. You taking credit for some shit that you claim the white man doesn't do. According to him. The fuck is he talking about? That exposed crimes against humanity, human trafficking exposed. I'm the one that exposed the deep state exposed. Look at all these goddamn. Look at this FBI agent says. That's see all these conspiracies that he keeps saying he exposed. That's why Robert Steele acknowledged him because he was retelling all of Robert Steele's con uh, conspiracies. Government has been infiltrated by Satanists who traffic children. Proof Freemasons have infiltrated our government. 
FBI says they will look horrible once the public sees what's on Anthony Weiner's laptop. I'm the one that exposed all this shit. So my thing is, look at this, rallies and marches. I just left Boston, Massachusetts, meet and greet, 3822, where I have my debate league jersey on the same jersey. And, and then right here, this same, this Washington, D.C., a band freedom, 2020 freedom tour. I've been did all this. So I'm like, if y'all niggas want to know what's going on, y'all better go to yeah, he University and go watch all that shit. I don't know what to tell y'all. And you I did it all for free. Some type of like I said, I did it all for free. Nobody paid me to do that. YouTube ain't paid me free to. He definitely coked up. He talking quick. Even if I slow it down to normal, <laughs> he's still going to be talking fast as shit. He bouncing off the walls. He can't even sit still. Four years. I'm still, like I said, I'm not giving up on my law. Ain't shut up, too. neither. I'm still pursuing that. My attorney is Chris Armenta. Top 100 in the state. Put my attorney on you. She the top one. She in the top 100 in California. That's my attorney. So like I said, I'm, I've am i been doing what I'm supposed to do. So you working with the military and the CIA. Is that you making a change from the inside? Uh, like they come know, to you for your expertise and you basically giving them counsel? No, they haven't came to me yet. I'm going to be honest. Okay. They came, like they, I'm a, I ain't going to cap. They came and checked on me when I was drugged and made sure I was okay. When I went to when I went to jail because like I said, I'm not throwing Golden under the bus. But when I went to jail because Golden wasn't telling me who the fuck was around my kids and we got into it. And like I said, I figured it out now. You know what I'm saying? It was her uncle. That's true. Hey, but like I said, I didn't know that at the time. But when I was trying to figure Dark Alchemist, I thought I was the only one to notice this shit. Anytime young Pharaoh gets with a new chick, he posts his STD test. When he got with Martina. He posted an STD chick, uh, test. Now he's with that army chick that, that we keep hearing about. Okay, uh, RJ. Peace. Uh, peace. You're always welcome back. Thanks for popping by. But this army chick that I'm hearing about now, or whatever chick that he messing with, he posted an STD test. Anytime he gets a new girl, he posts STD results. Figure out who was around my kids and I was getting into it with my baby mom because she was playing mind games. Your white man even came to check on me then when black people was trying to do me dirty in there. The white man came to check on me. So like I said, they ain't so the white man came to but, but, but in the beginning. You said you survived an assassination attempt. So was they trying to assassinate you, or was the white man helping you while black people was doing you dirty? Because it was black people that came to your rescue when you said everybody come to my house i'm scared when you did this hold on when you did this circle now i'm scared for my motherfucking life <laughs> bitch i'm afraid for my life i got a knife i don't got my gun my bodyguard took my gun my bodyguard ace hey room he took my gun last night and you did that, and black folks came to that's why school Beasel was there. That's why Sergeant Lou was there. That's why every all them people was there to check on you. And you claim that it was the white folks, the white cops that was trying to assassinate you. So which one is it? The story keeps changing up a lot. But when I was trying to figure out who was around my kids, getting into it with my baby mom because she was playing mind games, your white man even came to check on Make me. Make sure you're hitting that like button as you come in, family. Dirty in there. The white man came to check on me. So like I said, they ain't came to talk to me yet. He said the white man came to check on him while the black folks was doing him dirty. But if you go back to the videos, it was the other fucking way around. He was claiming it was the other way around. The white folks, the cops were trying to kill him. He, he survived his assassination attempt. And he was trying to assassinate him. All types of shit, bro. But they about to. And I'm about to go in a Star Wars movie. I'm about to do a reality show called For the Love of Young Pharaoh. I'm about to go into video games. I'm about, you know what? Did I'm this nigga just say he about to do a reality show for the love of young Pharaoh? <laughs> I did not catch that part. Let me check on me. So like I said, they ain't came and talked to me yet, but they about to. And I'm about to go in a Star Wars movie. I'm about to do a reality show called for the love of young Pharaoh. I'm about to go in a video game. Oh, he really said he about to do a reality show called <laughs> for the love of young Pharaoh. I'm about, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go out here and do a lot of shit. They love me in Japan. I'm about to start seeing what's good with China because I'm going to have him bring back Dynasty right, Warrior 3 and put me in it. And you know, I'm going to do a lot of things. Talking about when he my parole officer had to do an investigation. I wasn't even allowed to post on YouTube for like two weeks until they fully investigated my channel and, and cleared me. Of the, of the Hold up. Don't pay for the price on Apple when you can do this instead. Allegations. And then he had this bitch named Dr. Mayotte in Baltimore. 
Hold up. Let's What's going up in here? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me go here. To, let me go to more. I think it's in religion. I Let's skip to when he started talking about Josh Netter. He was drugged. Biological computer. Matter of fact, let me share my screen one more time. Let me. Like, are you fucking? Yeah, crazy? that's off limits. Kids like, are definitely off limits. Yeah. Are you crazy? I'm like, are you fucking crazy? Like, you scared to drop the addy. So keep my name out your motherfucking mouth and don't be talking about you gonna have my, have my don't be talking about going. And I, and the nigga end up garnishing a whole fan base. But I didn't know. And then I found out Hold up, we're gonna skip to what he was talking about. He was drug stores in the black community and and I'm coming to open up some health food stores and I'm and I wanna fuck that he's not gonna do go home. And so with that being said, the bitch ended up making me some tea, but she used to make me tea every right, day. I'm go. not gonna lie. Here we go. I thought she was white, but she was Latino. The Kundalini, but you can look it up. His name was Montel Boner. I killed him on Bailey and Stockbridge with a shotgun with a military style kill called, called a cross kill. When you hit somebody in the chin, and he killed somebody. Monte Baylor, that's what he said his name was. But the last time he said his name was Deep. Hit the 33rd vertebrae and caused automatic death. Nigga, I've been, my dad was in the Navy. I'm already up 15 kills. He I've up been 15 kills. since I was a kid. So, like I said, niggas talking that tough shit. I tell niggas drop the Addy. You don't want to drop the Addy. Nigga, I got real homicides under my belt. Man, it, ain't even worth, it ain't even worth catching a body over some internet shit, man. No, about my kids, it is worth catching the body. But like I said, niggas about to get ready to go to Fort Leavenworth. I'm about to have the United States military send that nigga to Fort Leavenworth, and I'm about to go out here and get... See, this is when he was claiming that he was going to get Rashad Jamal locked up. It ain't even worth catching a body over some internet shit, man. No, about my kids, it is worth catching the body. But like I said, niggas about to get ready to go to Fort Leavenworth. I'm about to have the United States military send that nigga to Fort Leavenworth, and I'm about to go out here and get money with the white man and build my community. And, and I'm and about to have the, the military send him to Fort Leavenworth. And a few weeks later, this nigga get locked up. You can't tell me that ain't suspicious. Bring niggas a job, and I fuck with the bitches as long as they solid and they loyal. But I ain't really got nothing for black men but a job because niggas ain't never supported me the whole time. And I don't want niggas coming over here trying to show me fake love. It was niggas that was donating to your goofy ass. Because the only thing niggas ever tried to do was rob me of my brand. And niggas still trying to do it the whole time. Niggas still trying to do it now. Could you talk more about getting drugged, though? Oh, let there me talk go. about that. Yeah. So it was a female. Now, I want y'all to listen closely to how he tells this story. Because it's going to be totally different from the way he just told the story in the, the, the other video we've watched. Here, right now, I put a video up where I said I, I do shrooms now, but I did that to protect her from going to the feds because in reality, I wasn't doing that's one thing right there from off the beginning that he never said, he never said in the other story that he just told. Shrooms, this bitch drugged the fuck out of me. And not only can you ask my, my brother Scooby Zoqua who came and got me back, right? You can ask that I thought she was white, but she was Latino, the Kundalini yoga teacher. And like I said, I never fucked her, I never even tried to fuck her while she was here. And Golden was mad because she rearranged the kitchen. Too. He said he never tried to fuck her. But then when he said, yeah, I killed with her plenty of time. Insinuating that he was fucking her. Okay, cool. But I never even fucked her. But she would tell you that I was drugged. Because when I first got drugged, I called her. And there wasn't no drugs in my house. And she would tell you it wasn't no drugs. And Kwa tell you it wasn't no drugs. So what happened was it was a bitch over here named Josh Netter who was refusing to go home. This bitch kept missing flights on purpose. And while she was here, like I said, I was going to Golden House fucking with Golden. I don't you know. never said nothing about her trying to stay there missing flights. That's three. She felt some type of way about that or whatever, but that bitch wasn't supposed to be here anywhere. That bitch wouldn't go home. And, and then she ended up coming to Florida when I went to go see K Empress because that bitch once again missed the flight and was refusing to go home. And I'm like, bitch, you're not about to be in my house by, by yourself while I'm not home, bitch. Or he never said nothing about going to see K Empress. To go home. And so with that being said, the bitch ended up making me some tea, but she used to make me tea every day. I'm not going to lie. She used to be cooking for everybody over here, making tea and all kind of shit. And then Five, you didn't mention that she make you tea all the time. And out, of, out of all of the time she gave me tea, she was like, do you want to try some mushroom tea? And I was like, yeah, but I didn't know. Damn, do you want to try some mushroom tea? Now, then he just said, she gave me some tea and I didn't know what it is. She gave me tea. She was like, do you want to try some mushroom tea? Do you want to try some mushroom tea? That's coming out of his own mouth. But he just said in the last video that he didn't know what it was. And I was like, yeah, but I didn't know it had real mushrooms in it. So it fucked me up. Boom. I had the experience with her. I told you his excuse was he didn't know it had real. He asked you if you want to have you want some mushroom tea. How the fuck did you not know that it was milk? That, that makes totally no, no fucking sense. 
I thought, you know, to me, I was hallucinating, whatever, but I see the bitch shape shift to a reptilian. I seen that shit go through the ceiling. I put that on my kids, and the bitch passed out and pissed on herself. That happened. I put that on my kid. I put exactly, that on my dead homie, Bolo, and my dead homie make that happen. And then I'm like, let me try to sleep it off. So the next day I call my bodyguard, my bodyguard pull up. See, in the last video, he said he tried to eat something. This video, he said, let me try to sleep it off. That, that story is alternating. But he's not trying to come in the house. So I'm thinking it's a setup. But he talking about something. He trying to go fuck some bitches. Ah, ah, ah. Sleep it off. And I'm like. That's not what he did. He came and took the gun from you because you almost shot Josh Nutter in the face. Nigga, what the fuck you mean sleep it off? Nigga, I'm telling you I'm drugged. You ain't coming in here trying to do your job. Nigga, I'm paying you $7,000 a month. What the fuck you mean? So I thought it was a setup. So I got on the internet and said some shit about I shot a nigga. I talked to Flocka. And that wasn't no police shit. You feel me? That was just for me. That he just said he went on the internet because he he thought that he was hot. He, he somebody gave him some drugs, and people were shape shifting, so he had to record just in case he shot somebody. To let you know what I'm saying, the government know I'm going out with a bang if y'all come get me because I thought the government was coming to get me at the time, but they wasn't. You know what I'm saying? It just was. A, it might have been. He just said the white man came to check on you. A little tad bit of racism and a misunderstanding with the white man, but I mean, whatever. I know the white man. From now was a tad bit of race. You just said the white man came to help you. Now was a tad bit of racism. <laughs> His story is alternating as he's telling it. I didn't know the white man down here, but we talked about it and we brother, we cool now. We understand now. So like I said, I'm used to the white man up north. I ain't used to the white man down here. Just like the white man wasn't used to the black man down. He wasn't used to the black man up north. So it was what it was. But long story short, you know what I'm saying? He said he was at my at my crib because. You know, I ain't gonna say no names, but a particular people family called the police on me. You know what I'm saying? Talking about a hostage. But well, it is what it is. Like I said, he probably was lying about that. You almost shot a girl in the face, wouldn't let her leave. And you almost stabbed a girl in the neck. Sounds like a hostage situation, bro. You feel me? He probably was like, I don't know. But like I said, long story short, we cool. We called me his brother. He said he was only there. They called the police. And you know, I mean, that's why they called the police. I mean, somebody called the police on me. They family call, and you know that was what it was. But long story short, that bitch drugged me. And, and, and I only called that bitch back to see if she was the FBI. And if y'all watch the video where I say, do you think I'm crazy? The reason she's saying no is because she knows she gave me something without telling me. And then when my nigga Kwa pulled up, like I that said, Kwa no just same thing for himself. When Kwa pulled up, he'd tell you it wasn't no drug. She said no because you pointed a gun in her face, and she thought she might point another gun at her. That's why she said no, motherfucker. And he had the weed, and I'm like, bro, I'm stressed out, bro. And I'm trying to tell him what happened. I'm like, let me hit the weed. And Shorty was like, don't get the weed because you can't have no drugs in your system for 24 hours. But in my mind, I'm like, bitch, I don't have no drugs in my system. So later on, trying to figure out what happened, she ended up telling me that she brought shrooms through the airport. And I'm like, bitch, I would have never told you. To That's not what she said last time. To bring shrooms through the airport because I don't play with the FBI because little did y'all know, I've been running for multiple homicides since I was a kid. And the FBI didn't even know that until I just said it publicly. That's why I made that song, Fast Taking Pictures, where I said, come on, bro. You, you did multiple homicides as a kid. The feds are going to fucking no they're gonna know you're sloppy when you're a kid like bro you don't know about killing as a kid bro you sloppy you don't know about shit like that like come on bro that makes no sense how the feds taking pictures they ain't know until i told them so i would have never told that to, do anything to trigger the fbi's attention so she's a liar now when she left i told my nigga cameraman glow i'm like yo you think this bitch the police you know what i'm saying they're like yeah she might be p my nigga glow like she might be i'm like okay so i called the bitch back and I'm like, I'm about to bring Notice back. that he always saying, I told my man this, and my man said this. My man. None of these people ever cooperate his story. And I kept letting the bitch come back because I kept trying to figure out if she was the police or something. But she might have just been, she, she might have just been a dumbass bitch. Like I said, she was out here popping X pills behind my back. I didn't know she stole $60 from Louie and tried to blame it on Kate Empress. Then the bitch was running around out here in Katy, Texas parking lot with no shoes on, not trying to pay for her nails and her, her nails and her feet. And the, and the police didn't arrest her. But she only, only reason she ain't going to jail because Martina paid for it. And the bitch was just out here doing a lot of crazy shit. She picked up the phone when Golden called. I didn't tell that bitch to do that. We got into it over that. She bought her clothes in my house, sprinkled her clothes. Listen to all this shit that he does not mention in this last story that he, we just heard. I'm my house trying to act like she lived here. I never told her to do that. Bitch bought rollerblades. We ain't never went rollerblade one time. The bitch basically tried to sneak and move in my house and then act like she moved in and she never did. And I felt some type of way about that because that caused a lot of friction between me and Golden even more than what we were doing. Now he's blaming her for the friction with Golden Beauty. Oh shit. Going through. And like I said, I was fucking with Golden the whole time, still going to her house, all of that, even while Jocelyn was here, because she wasn't supposed to be here. That bitch just kept missing flights. So the bitch drugged me and then was refusing to get the fuck out of my house. And like I said, the only reason so now she drugged you and try to move in. <laughs> this this is just getting weird, bro. Like this, 
these stories, like if you if you go to court and play both of these videos and <laughs> line them the shit the fuck up, your jury will be like, he's guilty. This nigga's a fucking liar. He didn't told seven different stories. Then y'all seen that bitch with me in Arizona, and the only reason y'all seen that bitch with me in Florida is because that bitch allegedly kept missing flights. And if y'all ask my sis chosen, she nah, had- nigga, you was trying to hit that, but that's where I'm going to stop it at. Because you can clearly see his story fucking change a whole bunch. And I got to get ready for work. Ah, it's time to go, family. Time for me to go. I'm going to try to get some uploads in this uh, week. If not, I'll try to squeeze a live or two. And if not, I will see you guys again next Friday. But I got to go. So shout out to the chat. Shout out to everybody. Yup, he dragged her out the house. By her hair, all types of shit. Shout out to the chat. Okay, let me show you some more magical than JFK. Uh, did more magical than the JFK bullet. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to everybody that stopped by. Like I say every time, it's you guys that make this show special. But I gotta go. It's your boy, Ranger's baby, Remy L. My aunt. You were just tuned in to my aunt TV. I see y'all when I see y'all. Until then. You better be careful, little buddy.